Are you tired of the same old sports media? Are you tired of hot takes? Your favorite podcast, Missing Week? Questions that are just completely off base. We have something for you. Touchdowns and tangents of the people, for the people, by people who care about the culture and all its concise commentary. Yeah, bitch. What's up, good people? Live from Hawthorne, California. It's your spot for NFL takes, topical tangents, concise commentary for the culture. Took a week off last week because I literally had no voice after the Raiders and Rams game. I, I felt and like Kenny I had no was soul. Liter- Kenny literally was on 20 hours straight of being awake and strategically waking up and dropping jokes in the middle of sleeping. We're all, we're all looking at this guy like, bro, is he sleeping or listening to our conversation? We couldn't tell because he just would Kept chime in every out. every 25 minutes with a joke and a laugh and then go back to sleep. And we're like, what the fuck is going on right now? Like, is this dude meditating? Like, what is it? I mean, he's... Is he meditating on jokes? He's like, his chakras up, bro. I'm saying I'm a fat Buddha. You know what I'm saying, like, I have, like, <laughs> like, everybody has their own time chamber within themselves. But yeah, man, shout out to Lucas holding us down. DC, DMV. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I want to get. <laughs> don't sound. It's okay. A lot of people do. There's a lot of DC yeah. people coming here. Just don't act like a Detroiter when you get to LA. Uh, I, don't know that. I don't know what that means. It's like, they, it's people who come in from Detroit and then they shit on LA. They're like, oh, we hustle so hard in Detroit. Okay. Well, then go back. Okay, yeah. Go back to yeah. your fucking poverty where there's no steel mills. <laughs> And there's Russian neighborhoods and like there's you like you're born here, but like there's like whole fucking foreign groups. It's actually getting better. Now. Have their own pockets. It's like getting better. The gentrification in Detroit. Detroit is scary. It's getting better. It's still bad yeah, though. Yes. It's yeah, getting better. Well, I mean, if you're from Detroit, you can't shit on anywhere else. Like, what about Cleveland? You could definitely shit on Cleveland though. if you're from Detroit. I mean, yeah, Cleveland, that's about it. Like nowhere else, you can't shit on anywhere else. Okay, Detroit. Where's the beaches? There's none. Dude, Don't they have all those lakes? lakes? You can go to Canada. <laughs> yeah, he's from, Jake's from there. Bro, isn't he from Max East Lansing? Isn't he from East Canada Lansing? Can have him, bro. Okay, it's like an hour drive. And it's like the IE. <laughs> Don't call. Don't call it the IE. It was a fucking Midwest. It's disrespectful. Man. I'm gonna call. I'm, I won't call up fucking the one person we, I can't say his name. It'll give the joke away, but you know who I'm talking about. I don't know. There's nothing bland about him. Let's just say that. Mm. Oh, okay. He actually okay. lives in Virginia right now. Really? Honestly, you should link up with Mark Bland. Really? Yeah, link up with Mark Bland. Say, hey, like I'm an intern on Touch on the Tangents. Well, do you know? Do you know what party he's in? Uh, he's in the swim. honestly. I, I want to Alexandria, but I'm pretty sure he's like in a really nice upscale part of Virginia. Yeah, yeah really, yeah. it's it's DC proper. It's like yeah. it's like saying, "Oh, I'm in Hollywood." Or oh, what part? Right. North Hollywood, motherfucker. North Hollywood isn't Hollywood. It's the valley. <laughs> it's the uh, nice. It's the North nice. Hollywood's not the valley. It's not Hollywood. It's not. It's its own thing. <laughs> no, nah, fuck that. No, 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 no. We we had this conversation five years ago. It's we its own everyone thing. agreed. West Hollywood is kind of the cutoff, and then you go over all that shit. Once you get to NoHo, you know it's not the valley. It's dried out cocaine, and you're really it's just not trying the to, valley. You're trying to live peacefully. I mean, it's not the valley. If Valley's it connects like, to the orange line, is it not the valley? The valley's like Sherman Oaks. Bro, the orange and, line uh, is... The borderline is like Sherman, Sherman Oaks. Oaks. Yeah. That's like the city of the valley. That's like <laughs> mid-city of the valley. Nah. That's like saying you're in nah. Oakland, but you're really in San Leandro. Nah. Sherman Oaks, that's not really the heart of the valley. No, I mean, that's like, just where that's all the, the money is. Of, from south. That's like the south border. Okay, if you said Calabasas, I'd be like, all right, is Calabasas the valley? No. Okay, so... 
Calabasas is his own thing. But North Hollywood is not his own thing. Anyways, we got a lot of shit. Because it's a metro station, like right there in the heart of it. We got a lot of shit we got to talk about this week. Bottom line is just hit up Mark Bland. We don't have time for your LA neighborhood Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. (laughs) Really doesn't matter. Man, I'm going to do a poll. I'm telling you. No ho is is the adopted cousin that you actually fuck with more. Like, you spend more time in North Hollywood than you do other parts of Hollywood. Be Mm. honest. Mm. Honestly, I don't really go over there to any of those hoes. In your young 20s. I didn't go to any of those hoes. Really? I mean, I went to WeHo, honestly, probably more. Everybody goes to WeHo because the drinks. The roofies? Too soon? Hey, man. I mean, can we can we judge groups of people fairly? Can All we, right. Can we are we mature enough to have that conversation? Let's go ahead and start it off. Lucas, what happened this week? Monday Night Football, Thursday Night Football. Yeah. The yeah, Eagles and uh, Giants. Giants, Giants not ready for prime time quite Wait, yet. That was wasn't that Sunday? That was, was Sunday, it? wasn't it? Oh yeah, that was Sunday. No, night. It was like was, forty-eight yeah, to fourteen. Patriots. Yeah, it was Sunday night. Yeah, no, Patriots, Monday. Oh yeah, Monday. Patriots night. Cardinals because Kyler Murray tore his ACL. Yeah, the and game that cost me my fucking playoff bid. Then the Patriots <laughs> just because Mac Jones yeah, couldn't yeah. score over fucking thirty points. Wait, but, oh, I started crazy. Herbert over Trevor Lawrence. Wait, but you lost two seats. If the Patriots won, it wouldn't. You would. So, so I started the game with one point with a one point five lead. Uh-huh. That league, the defense gets ten points, and then they lose uh-huh. points based off how many team, how many the team they're going against scores. Right. So, if the Patriots and Mac Jones had scored more, mm-hmm. then I would have made it in the playoffs, and I'd uh, still be in the mm-hmm. money for a thousand dollars. But bro. instead, True pain. I'm an A seed playing a fucking side chick tournament for no nothing. <laughs> Pennies on the dollar. So yeah, that's where we're at. Shout out to my boss for losing too, which also <laughs> messed up everything. It was like a three way yeah. tie for six and a three way tie for fifth, Damn, and just crazy. one place, one first place. Well, uh, you guys should have a Google Meets about it. <laughs> Loki did. <laughs> right out of, right out of memo, we Loki did. Right out of memo about all your fantasy stuff. Yeah, pretty much. Everyone. And he asked me for fantasy advice halfway. Yeah. He's like, this is not in yeah. our league, though. I'm like, that yeah. doesn't make it any better, Ted. Yeah. <laughs> His name would be uh, Ted. I think Kyler Murray's a butt. I think he has the, the shittiest luck. I mean, he's better than Baker, yeah. right? He's definitely uh, he's the I don't best. Like he's rally. better than I Russell know. Wilson right now. Yeah, so you can't say he's anymore, that much of a bust because he's I don't like, even know anymore, dude. I think they're all like this. He, they can run a little bit. Loki, Loki, they kind of are. All are we saying? Are we saying, are we saying Loki, Russell? Are we saying Russell? Loki, they all kind of are. Are we same. saying Russell? They're all the same. They all right can't now. put up Kyler. points. They all can't put else? up points. Okay, first off, the Cardinals' offensive line is down to their backup backups. They're yeah. always they're, they're whole always down hurt. bad. Yeah, the snake. Bit. They're always down bad. And their defense is their defense bends and then they break. So, do you have empathy for the Cardinals because you watch Hard Knocks? <laughs> I force myself. I watch Hard yeah, Knocks bro. to get over the pain of the Raiders. That's but, how I know you're down bad when you're watching Hard Knocks, bro. <laughs> Mid season hard knocks. Mid season hard knocks. I actually you're go back bro. to HBO on demand you're and depressed. watch that shit. You're depressed, my guy. Thinking about life insurance. You like, might need some Zanny bars, bro. Like for real. I'm afraid it's gonna have too much lithium in it, like Kanye said, or some fucking uh um the F word that everyone that keeps killing everybody. Fentanyl? Yeah. Fetty what? I'm afraid everything has fentanyl in it. Uh, yeah, the What if it's not what if that's not cake? It's just fentanyl. Damn, bro, that's... Yeah, and like the way he tore his ACL, this non cocky I mean, I did go to Mexico a few weeks ago. I mean, yeah, there you go. I could be a meal. You made it to, could be. <laughs> you might be. What depending on if you ate the meat, you probably are. But All like, right, but yeah, so I mean, it just goes to show you that like the tier of quarterbacks 
Herbert is in that. It's like it's a top six tier, and Kyler's just below that. Two is just below that. Tua actually nah. Tua is Tua, better than Kyler no, 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 this year, bro. No, 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 no. That's because he has all world speed at receiver. What does Kyler have? DeAndre Hopkins. Bro, Kyler's had it. like seven first round receivers. No, this year. no, Ryder Moore was like a second rounder, and he's a popped hamstring. Okay. Who else? He's a bum hamstring. Who else? Robbie Anderson's done nothing. Okay, but still highly valued. Looks like a character you, from Mystery hi, Man. Hi, hi, Highly Noah from Trey the, McBride got his soul that, that fucking smacked movie, out of his body from that movie with fucking Fifth the, Element or whatever. Chris Tucker. Chris, Chris Tucker. Element. There you go. Nah, he looked like he got the Voltron helmet, but that's his hairstyle. That's Robbie Anderson. <laughs> go watch Mystery Man if you haven't seen it. Okay. Anyway, a lot of jokes I had. In Hollywood Brown, week. first round pick. DeAndre Hopkins, arguably one of the best receivers of the generation. No offensive line and Rondell Moore, second round pick. He's Andy been hurt. Isabella, second round. He got pick. cut weeks ago. Yeah, but he, he got started cut like on two the roster. Ago. He started on the roster. He's not on the roster anymore. He but got he started cut. on the roster. I think he's on the Ra- Ravens right now. He is on the Ravens, but he started on the roster. He's not there no more. I'm just telling you, this man has had plenty of weapons, bro. They've gone out and, and gotten Steve him Con- more weapons. And, and Kime, they're... Um, they gave up draft picks for Robbie Anderson. Anderson cashed out when he went to Carolina. The like, general manager, uh, Kime, is on uh, They traded for Hurts last leave. year, first-round pick. So, they're what are we talking bitten, about, bro? They're a snake-bitten team, and I think you... They just they extended the head coach. Listen, for they someone who GM, literally killed the MLB in Oakland, like Why you sure are giving Kyler a lot of benefit of the doubt. I'm here's the problem with the, all that though. I'm just saying, if Kyler, he goes to the A's, he probably changes Kyler, the trajectory of the franchise. Bro, don't get me started on this shit. I'm already mad. Correa signed with the Giants. I know. Shout out to Sean Thomas. <laughs> no, fuck that. <laughs> Ain't everything involved with the Giants. Man. Yes, and he, I think he's in Canada now, isn't he? I don't know. The A's are so terrible, he moved out of the fucking country. <laughs> he went from New Mexico and said, to... fuck this, I'm out. Or he went to the Blue Jays or something? Nah. Nah, nah. I don't even know where he's oh, at. So he I didn't know he was in New league. Mexico. I thought he was, yeah, he was in New Mexico, I think now he's in Canada. That's Shout crazy. out to my Bay Area brethren from West Oakland. But, um, yeah, man, like, you can't really blame Kyler for the franchise being shitty. Because the Cardinals were on, like, the cusp of a Super Bowl, and then they just kept fucking it up yeah, for, like, 10 straight years. now they're doing that again. They're, like, worse than the Raiders. <laughs> the cusp of a playoff. They, they get real close, and then they just fucking God of War Destroy themselves. Destroy it all. They God of War themselves. And if you, if you know anything about God of War, you start at this last game, you could just go back to the Greek pantheon and just say, here's how Kratos fucked up. Every step of the way, he Poseidoned himself. That's the Cardinals are, are Poseidon and God of War. That's what they are. They could have just stayed out the way and just built on what they had and protected what they had, but no, they have to jump in front of every fucking buzzsaw, and that's why the Niners keep clapping them. That's why they don't beat anybody. It's just bad and. The GM's on medical leave, but honestly, people around the league have been saying he's really just there because he's a good ass kisser. You know, the, his nose is the darkest part of his body. Shout out to Ricky Starks. But um, it's just sad that it's not working out for Arizona, and I think they're going to have to get rid of the GM. And honestly, I would have got rid of I would have well, fired Cliff Kingsbury and said, hey, D'Amico Ryan, he's a Blake check. Rise is going to be a great head coach somewhere. He'll be better than Steve Wilkes. <laughs> Steve Wilkes actually is actually pretty good in Carolina. They just have no offense. Okay, so you, he got a raw that's, deal that's in, that's Arizona. What in Arizona. That's no, they had an offense. Arizona. They had an offense and a great defense. They didn't have an offense. Remember, they had Rosen. They had an offense for year. like three days. Oh yeah, and then it they went to shit. Rosen. Moving on. Sad, Other Arizona. news from from since the last time we were on the big news. So long, Brittany Griner released from prison Brittany in exchange for the Lord of War, Lord of Death, merchant whatever of you death. want to call the him. Merchant of Lord Death, of you gotta say it right. <laughs> whatever you want to call him, no, it's the Merchant of Death. 
Wait, is that what the movie was based off of? The one I think so. I'm not sure. Oh, I cannot man, verify. He crazy. sold weapons. He sold weapons all over the place, but mostly in African countries to destabilize governments. He oh, was shit. he was that that's... pusher. He was he was selling. Damn, that's nuts, dude. He was pushing weapons all over the place, and Russia has them now. And he's he going to really be working like a fucking Hydra prisoner. Right well, the problem is Russia doesn't have shit anymore because they've been getting their ass kicked by a little tiny rebellion. Yeah, we don't now, have to talk about that. Uh, I'm pretty sure the Ukraine's not winning that war. Yeah. Yeah, Here we go. Ukraine's winning the fist fight. They're not winning the war because Putin Here is a fucking we psycho. Go. Okay. You realize we thought Russia was like the third world power? We thought that they could compete with us? And now we're finding out that a bunch of militia has been taking their tanks like water. Bro. They've lost more troops than we lost in Iraq, Afghanistan combined. They've lost more troops than we've lost and back in the World Korean War II War. when we fucked them over the since last the time. War. When we fucked them over the last time, since when the they Korean took all, War. when they took no, when they took all the hits in that certain World War involving Hitler, and then when they were supposed to get their cut, we fucked them over, and that's why they've hated us ever since. Mm-hmm. That's why, like, when I was at CSUN, there was this Russian chick. We were splitting an Uber, and she was talking about how, like, she doesn't really like America. She's just really here for grad school. I was like, oh, that's interesting. She's like, yeah, I mean, it's it's way easier to get the education here. If I can just go back home and just stay in Russia. Probably, just every, she's everything's probably better. a millionaire. Possibly. She was definitely a millionaire. She was living in a nice ass She's apartment. Definitely, I'm telling you, she I'm was living in those nice ass apartments down by the orange line, past the orange line. Once you make that turn and hit, uh, you know how hard it is to get my, to get. You know how far away that is. I know to, to get to get <laughs> when you turn. I forget what that, like that. What's that street is? What's that street when you turn on? Um, no idea. But fuck. that's why there's a lot of Russian people in like Mexico and Brazil and. Like all over. That's really place. fucking weird. There's a lot of Russian people in the Midwest, mainly Chicago oh, really? and Detroit. All okay, right. Okay, well, they can stay there. Yeah. They plan on it. I mean, it's home to them, so it's winter. Winter is coming, definitely. And we already alluded to it last week, but yeah, the Raiders got cooked by Baker Mayfield, who was on the Rams for a cool two days. Two days. Probably had concussions from giving self-inflicted headbutts. Slept in the airport longer than I did when I got when I missed my flight to go to the Senior Bowl three years ago. Oh my god, bro! Because I hadn't flown in ten years and I had fucked up and made one wrong turn in the airport. But yeah, he uh, certain Elaine Kiffin. He booked a jump. he booked a flight. Nah, I didn't get fired on the tarmac. <laughs> they allowed me on the plane. <laughs> I was actually like 30 seconds from, I was like, yeah, the chick was like, we wouldn't let you on the plane, but you were like 30 seconds late. I was like, damn, after all that? But anyway, shout out to Texas, uh, uh, fucking the Texas TSA agent who didn't know what the fuck they were doing and swore that I had metal, like, in my groin, only to realize, like, it was a metal wand that they waved in front of me. But they were too stupid to realize that and maybe miss my flight. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Yeah, there was a wand, yeah. I was like, how do you not know? I was like, dog, I don't have metal in my junk. <laughs> Clearly, yeah, I went through and I, I didn't even I came beep. back from Hogwarts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a fucking Power Ranger. I'm a MacGyver. That's what I am. I'm going to fucking transform into an alien right now in front of you. I'm see, I'm actually like pure metal. You just don't know it. I'm, I'm vibranium. I go, I, I make it through security. But yeah. Um, the fact that he pretty much booked his flight before he even before before his whole his waiver wire thing went through, he booked a flight to LA, which is kind of funny. I mean, I don't think that's that crazy because I mean, where else are you gonna go in fucking December, middle of the week to have a good time? That's not fucking freezing cold. L.A. Arizona. Like it seems like a good. It seems like a good spot to like go and like either figure out where your next step is or like relax or hey, if the Rams sign me, then I'm already there, sort of thing. Yeah, makes sense to me. I mean, I mean, yeah. Why wouldn't you say I want to get out of Carolina and go to L.A.? I mean, yeah, fuck that. Yeah, he stayed at the hotel with his wife in Carolina. (laughs) Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, he stayed at the hotel that him and his wife got married at. So that must have been real humbling. 
And he proceeded to beat a defense that decided, hey, we know they have to throw it deep. This is how I know you work with people from the Midwest. You know way too much about Baker Mayfield right now. I'm just like, hey, um, so why Can exactly? You stop talking about Baker Mayfield. I mean, I watched him play just at trying Texas to Tech. My lunch. Like, uh, <laughs> I watched him play. Can you guys just talk about something else. He was a walk on at Texas Tech. <laughs> like, can I veto this? Com- can I veto this water cooler conversation? Please? I wish I could, but everywhere I turn, there's Baker fucking Mayfield. Like, damn. If I win tickets to the Broncos, man, rent free, bro. The media wants it. They just want. They want that redemption art so bad. Yeah, and he's not true. gonna get it. I don't know the heart to How tell them know? that. How do you know, bro? Because the so Rams watch, are a watch, garbage dude. fire. Stafford's going to retire. And it's gonna be Here Baker. we go. Gonna no, they're going to trade a fourth-round pick Baker for Cup. Zap. Baker. Oh. Oh, no, they're going to get Derek Carr. No, nah, they're, they're not idiots. <laughs> they would trade for Derek Carr. That, they're not idiots. That was yes, they would. They, they would let him get cut, it. and then they would That'd sign him. So no, funny. they wouldn't. The Rams are desperate. They're not idiots, bro. Are you sure about that? Yeah, they're not idiots. I'm not All right. sure about that. Are we positive? Moving on. I hope they bring back Robert Quinn. I think that'd be a good. Why the hell would he do that? He's on the probably. Eagles, probably going to win the Super Bowl. He's a free agent. He's on the Eagles, and he's probably going to win the Super Bowl. He might retire. Yeah, so cool. Why the fuck would you put yourself through more the... trauma? They Where's brought... he going to retire with? The Bears? The Cowboys? Not nah, the Eagles. Come on, bro. He'll do that shit. He should retire as a Super... Ram, bro. Man, okay. The, that's that's like the real the real Rams fans know, bro. You should go to the Raiders. He slipped he slipped through the cracks. He slipped through the cracks of like the Aaron Donald and the greatest still, show on still turf. One of Steven the Jackson. fastest get offs of all time. Steven Jackson. That's like era. That's He's like, like the the bridge. He was a bridge. One of the bridge franchise guys. That's why I feel like the Rams were foul and they should have just signed Todd Gurley to a contract and just never played him. <laughs> And gave him a Super Bowl <laughs> ring. Oh my God. All I'm going to say is uh, I knew Clemson quarterback, cornerbacks were bad since Ty Hill. Yeah. First Just, Ty Hill. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, God. And, like, three other Ty Hills. There was, like, three Ty Hills. Yeah. I was like, why the fuck are y'all all named Why are y'all all corners? And y'all, oh, none of y'all can play, but you're kind of athletic. Why are y'all all uber oh, fat? Think. One dude lost <laughs> yeah. it in, like, a year. Yeah. I remember Jimmy like, Williams out of Virginia like, Tech. He uh, lost it. Yeah, it's like when the Patriots like drafted all these guys with the name Jones. It ain't works. <laughs> no, that's the <laughs> fuck, <laughs> Cyrus. <laughs> Our running backs from Wisconsin, like the shit just works. I don't under, man. Yeah, the fact that Marcus Jones got that pick, I was like, <laughs> the one Houston corner who's worth a damn, and the Raiders don't take him. Yeah, I was surprised that he's doing this. I'm sure, the Raiders will sign him when he's a free agent. And, and he's washed. Like five more ga- five more good games left. Put him at yeah, free safety. A la Duran Harmon. Put him at free. At least Duran Harmon Ooh, makes Duran plays. Harman, yes. He made a he made an interception that got called back. So he I can't ma- shit on Duran Harmon. Plays, but then he also gives up plays. So I mean that's like, more Trevor. I mean that's more Trevor. Trevor Trevor Maureen don't really make plays. He, he like adjacently sometimes will be. He gets in the, the play, play made on him. He's in position to get the play made on him. It's like he's the Scotty Pippen like, of play getting plays like, made on. It's him. like a dude who's like a great box out, and you're like, okay, this dude's gonna get the rebound, but he doesn't. And he just rebound. doesn't get the rebound ever, and you're like, bro, but you have great position. Like he's like put Scotty. Your, put your arms up, like just grab it, bro. Like he's the Larsa Pippen of DBs. <laughs> Everyone's been through him. Wow. All right. Everyone's had to turn on him. Speaking of frustration, Jerry Judy's frustrated against the Chiefs. I didn't see that, yeah. so I don't know. Mark Rippin. Oh, I saw it. Dude. He, yeah, Rush. he was pissed off, and then he got like three touchdowns, and they still lost. <laughs> he lost thirty-four to twenty-eight because Isaiah yeah, Pacheco yeah. beast moded. He ran. That's he pulled crazy. a Marshawn Lynch. Bro, someone put Jerry Judy on fucking kick return in Madden and took one to the house and broke like seven tackles on me. I was fucking pissed. <laughs> Raiders can't tackle. Their starters can't tackle, so you know their special teams can't tackle. Bro, the Raiders just have the worst everything. Honestly, can the we worst just talk rush. about that? Can we just talk about like how bad <laughs> tackling is now? Like they you don't can tell you. players don't really hit, bro. Because like honestly, nobody really tackles good. You can't touch anybody it's like, anymore. It's the well, same yeah, three people. The These roughing the passer penalties are bad, bro. 
I'm more physical. My my nephew's more physical. When he wakes up in the morning, like, he doesn't want to touch me. It's like Bobby Wagner's like the only dude who could tackle him, like left. Period. They won't because they can't call. They can't throw flags on him. Like honestly, my nephew, who's like not even two years old yet, is more physical when he wakes up in the morning, and it's like they're bare. We saw it in the in the Raiders game. Bro, Maker, Baker, Baker Mayfield barely got touched. But that's what sucks, man. Is like honestly, Geno Smith barely got touched on that Nick Bosa sack that got wiped off. Like, don't six. get me wrong, I'm that dude in Madden who will give up like three touchdowns to get the ball back and try and score. Like, don't you get will. me wrong, I've done it to you before. It's, it's hilarious. But also, like defense matters, man. Like, like the Chargers like, game. Like in general, like the defense, Herbert play. defense is fun, bro. Like when a defense makes a play, you're like, "Fuck, dude, we're not supposed to be here." Here's the problem: we're not bro. supposed to be here. Like that wasn't supposed to happen. You know what's the problem though? But it's like the league's just getting rid of it. The like, league slowly literally slowly. came out. Troy Vincent came out and said they're going to consider uh, making roughing the passer reviewable. Yes, yeah, for that. ejections. Like it's college fucking football. I know. And bullshit. if you know anything about the Pac-12. And targeting, oh my Jesus Christ! Shit, we're all gonna get ejected. They're gonna have to give me an extra year eligibility because somebody's gonna get ejected for blowing a, a fucking snot bubble in the direction of a QB. Like the imagine la- getting ejected from getting ejected. <sighs> like imagine you get ejected because you blew the ejection, and then they have a meeting about your ejection after you've been ejected to confirm the ejection. Yeah. But then, they, so they have to give you, an, so you don't instead of missing one half, you miss the whole game. And then you appeal it. So then you have to have a, a meeting about the meeting, about the ejection for getting ejected. Yeah. Then, then they have a power lunch. <laughs> no, they have a powwow. This shit goes on longer than the more. This shit is gonna go on longer than the fucking Tory Lanes make the stallion court case. That's why it's like, dude, like the NFL really just wants to give Fox Sports and ESPN something else to argue about. Like this, like the rough in the passer situation is making me hate people. Like, bro, Skip we couldn't more even more. we couldn't even agree on pass interference for more than a season, bro. And Lord knows, like, we just got rid of that. They were like, "Yeah, this this review these reviews suck." Like, let let's not change it or anything. Let's just get rid of it unless, and go back to how, how the problem was before. Let's not even just talk like about celebrations. It. Like, yeah, blackball yeah. people out the league for celebrations. It feels stupid. Well, I mean, it's true. NFL is stupid. I mean, those, they do dumbass the, shit. The opinions of, of Pete Camry over here is in his alone. I'm just saying. The, uh, the NFL is stupid, bro. I work for the NFL, so I can't, like, just fully say that. Yeah, we But know. there's a lot of yeah. dumb shit that goes on in, in football and how football is coached in general, and I think it's really tarnishing the sport at every level because... If you're not gonna but teach it all tackling, starts from the top. If you're that's, not gonna, that's the shitty part. If you're gonna have shitty examples of tackling, covering, and what's a penalty and what isn't, and then you see all these high schools running up the fucking score with people because it's seven Which, on seven all day. Again, is and then when they get I to college say. and the pros, and then you're like, oh, well, why are they trained like this? Oh, because they've been trained like this since they were five. Because y'all don't, y'all policed. Um, Defense out of the game of football, so which is why I congratulations, say, they're idiots. Well, you're just overthinking. Basketball it. does it too. Just Every like other baseball, sp- nah, basketball doesn't overthink itself like that. Man, LeBron, and anything ba- basketball. LeBron needs like three thousand points taken away because he's fucking traveled a lot. If I'm anything, just saying, he's tra- this motherfucker's taking eight steps to the basket. I think we need to just take three thousand points from this motherfucker. But that's why the NBA has the best leadership. Because because they pay for the WNBA they get out, out of the fucking way it. they get out of their fucking way they let their players be their players and they play for the WNBA for the most part. And, don't, and don't complain about it they don't pay for the WNBA they subsidize the WNBA and don't complain about it they don't subsidize the WNBA I know that's just a running joke they used to they cover all their debt they used to they still do they don't they're separate they used to separate but equal. Basically, are they are they equal though? Kelsey Plum ain't even making money off her jersey. I mean, that's the idea between separate and equal, right? Is it though? 
Isn't that the whole premise? Like, if you're not making money off your jersey because your league isn't actually making any money off you. What I'm just saying, you, you can never right? be equal if you're separate is what I'm saying. Is anything ever equal, though? That's what I'm saying. Can't we just all have equity? What the fuck does that even mean? It what means, does that even mean? I mean, what some the people, fuck does some that even people mean? Mean, Some people need more what than you. What are you trying to say here? Some people need more what, than you, and you need to accept that. that so we're going to give, give you less because somebody like else needs access? more. Is that like access to to being equal? Like you're not equal, but you have the chance to be equal? Like, what it's does like that we mean? know you're never, you're never going to start off equal, but at least we can give I you. I have home equity. Does that count? Yeah. What, what do you mean? personally have home equity or do your parents have it? Because that can get tricky it, with how taxes equity. work. They want to take they want to take people's ability to pass down generational wealth too. Man, this this this, is, this got dark. This got very dark. All right. Moving on. Injuries. Do you ever move on? Injuries. Von Miller tore his ACL. He's gonna be missing a year. Lamar Jackson, strained PCL, missed last week. Taylor Huntley went down in eight plays. Tyler Huntley. Tyler Huntley, Snoop. He passed uh Concussion protocol. So he's gonna play this week yep. officially. Yeah, yeah. And fucking Joe Flacco was back in the fold with the Jets. He got he he was only out there for a couple of plays, and then they're like, we gotta we gotta die with Mike White. That boy got his ribs obliterated. Basically, played his shit like a xylophone. What the fuck are they gonna do with Zach Wilson, bro? No, that might be one of the biggest I mean, busts of all time. Might, I mean, I call it. I I told y'all, bro. I don't know why y'all that trust might be BYU. one of the big, biggest busts of all time. I said it. He's a rich white kid who went to BYU because he wouldn't have played nowhere else. Yeah, we heard you. You said it. You said you said it two weeks ago, bro. And he's related. Nobody's been banging the he's, table for Zach Wilson. Nobody on this podcast. Yes, they did. Yes, they I've did. never been banging the table for Zach Wilson. For like five minutes, yeah. you did. When? When did I? When have I ever said anything oh positive God, about Zach Wilson? Oh my God, he throws just like Aaron Rodgers. His pro I day was amazing. I never said that. I never said that. I never that said that. You. I never said that. And then you, and I then never I, said that. And then I railed off the stats. I never said that, bro. And you're like, oh, never mind. I never said that. I never said that. I was like, he's part problem. I've never been a Zach Wilson fan, bro. For five minutes, you I were. was never a Zach Wilson fan, bro. Just because they beat they beat the shit. I out was of never USC. a Zach Wilson. Just because they beat fan, the bro. shit out of USC, and you were I was like, never I'm a Zach Wilson fan. I never. And then I was like, Hey, they got a black. I don't even with... watch college football. Why would Why would I ago. say that, bro? Because you only once you see, you once, see what I do with Lucas, once man? you heard because this is this is when <laughs> USC was getting clapped by UCLA. You said, Wait, with. USC lost at home to BYU. Oh shit! It's when they were four and eight last year. They're like, Oh, that's hilarious. I don't even know what you're talking about. Bottom line is, know. you like Zach Williams. You, you're citing you shit like that Zach I Wilson said. Only because he had a skill set similar to Aaron Rodgers. I but never you, said that. I never made that comparison. No, you didn't. But I, that was the that was what the comparison that was out there for him. Because that was the lazy comparison that everybody made. But it's like, who gives a fuck if he has Aaron Rodgers-esque talent? Aaron Rodgers was even Aaron Rodgers when he was Aaron Rodgers at Cal. Thank you. And I'm saying totally different quarterback. I don't respect BYU because they he play had the with ball 30, too damn fucking high. BYU got 30 year old seniors on their fucking he threw roster, the ball bro. Up here, bro. Yeah, his shit was nasty. He really did throw the ball up here, bro. He did a full wrist rotation and then threw it. He did the fucking he did if you could see what I'm doing, he did the little wrist in and out. I forget what dance that was in the early two thousands. His wrist had an exorcism, and then he would throw the ball. Aaron Rodgers, <laughs> I don't know how he doesn't have carpal tunnel. It's fucking amazing. But, yeah, so Zach Wilson, who's also, his last name is Capono. He yeah, He's related to the Caponos. Don't get me started on white people in, in that situation. Because, you know, right. U- Utah's a nasty state. There's a lot of, there's a lot of inbreeding, let's just say that. Um, rich white kid who had a hell of an arm. But never won shit at BYU. But everybody had them all hyped up. And this was the year when it was like Coastal Carolina was like the 10th ranked team in the country. And I was like, what the fuck is this? I went on a whole 45-minute rant. I was like, bro, why are all these teams from the Sun Belt in the top 15? Get the fuck out of my college football. Get the fuck out of my face, college football. Got Zach Wilson out here. That was more like last year. No, that was when he was at, when he was there. But... It was more justified last year because they were actually beating really good teams. 
and the, and the Sun Belt was actually fucking everybody up. Like they were upsetting the fourth ranked team in the country and shit. But nah, when Zach Wilson was in college, it was just like, okay, this dude has really faced no adversity at all. All right, bro, you're spending way too much time on this fucking topic. All I'm saying is no, what the, the fuck are they going to do and, with... The Jets keep swinging and missing, and when I asked Robert Sala at the Senior Bowl, like, as a minority head coach, you know, do you feel that heat on the back of your neck? He was like, I don't feel the pressure. I'm like, well, your team was 5-2, and two, now you're 7-6. and six. You can easily win out if you just have good quarterback play. I'm just saying... Maybe Cam Newton was right when he said he's better than all the QBs in the NFC South. Maybe, just maybe, you might want to think about bringing in the Cam Newton. That's all I'm saying. I don't know about that. Hey, Cam, uh, throw it to Garrett Wilson, hand the ball off, and we might throw in a QB sneak for you. Don't do shit else. All he that had is, that one that, good game with Carolina. You got to look at me. You got to like, be like, don't do shit else. Don't deviate from the playbook, dog. You're, this ain't Auburn. You got long hair now. Somebody's going to yank your dreads. I need you. Locks. Locks. See, there you go. You're learning. Like, just throw it to Elijah Moore, who's a dog in the slot. Throw it yeah. to to our receivers who are really good, who are just running downfield wide the fuck open. And occasionally a tight end, because we know you love tight ends. But don't take off running on us. Dear God, please don't do that. College football. Man, where do I start? Moment of silence for Mike Leach, 1961 to 2022. Rest in peace, Mike Leach. Right, rest in peace. I don't think Mike Leach was a fan of moments of silence because his uh-huh. greatest sound bites were just him just saying shit. Like his 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 sound bite on marriage was pretty dope. Shout out to Chrissy Floyd too because she because she um she actually talked to him before he passed. So it's a sad situation. So, yeah, but... Um, There's a couple of people who died recently. Uh, what would you say? Not not, not necessarily a pioneer, but... No, like definitely a, a pioneer. He pioneered the spread offense. His concepts are in NFL locker rooms today. He showed you how to beat isn't Texas. Is he an air raid guy, though? They said that he was he an air coined, raid guy. He coined the term air raid. He coined that term. But he's the reason why... As an assistant at Oklahoma, when their shit took off, and then he went to Texas Tech, he made Texas Tech, like, a power. Like, Mike Leach's system is so great that it's what got Patrick Mahomes noticed because he put up gaudy numbers in the air raid. And it was really just, what, some shit that Tiff Kingsbury was doing that he got from who? Mike Leach. Washington State, they were putting up 5,000-yard passers. Connor Holland... Cats who didn't even make it to the league, but threw for like five thousand yards their fucking senior year. Can't even explain that. Um, Will Rogers, what he's doing at Mississippi State, and how they made he made Mississippi State highly competitive really fast. Like he's the perfect example of how you develop, you know, good pass blocking offensive linemen, good receivers, and a quarterback. If you get the right one, like he's, he's one of the fathers of the spread offense. You can never take that from him. Even though, you know, him and the, him, that player had a falling out, coaches and players have fallen outs. I hope people aren't kicking in that kid's back um, because of that. Because in some cases, yeah, he had issues with some players. I mean, the whole Adam James situation was an issue. Um, some things he said kind of racially. The closet. The closet was years ago, but Craig James was a scumbag. Um, but it wasn't. It was a shed. It wasn't a closet. My bad. Uh, for legal reasons. Slight difference. Yeah, slight difference. And it was natural light. You know, <laughs> uh, there's no natural light coming in from a closet. From a shed, though, you got a concussion, bro. <laughs> Sit your ass in the dark, then. <laughs> You're an asshole, bro. Bella Hay in Lubbock, Texas. You sound like a Patriots coach, but we'll get to that later. Hey, man. I've had some dark moments in the training room, okay? I wish I wish I was rather in a shed. Well, yeah, man. R.P. Mike Leach, one of the fathers of the modern college spread offense in the air raid. Responsible for Lincoln Riley. And responsible for the fact that, um, what's his face? Shout out to all the coaches, too, who've been shouting him out. 
Yeah, shout out to shout out to the coaches that never actually beat them. Damn. Let's shout out those people. Let's shout out the people who said he couldn't do it. I want to get to the biggest overblown story of the century. Ohio State makes it to the college football playoff despite being blown out by Michigan and not making the Big wow, Ten I championship. I'm talking about Deion Sanders, but okay. Big Ten championship, Lucas. I don't even. The easiest way for me to remember is Big Ten, Big Twelve is fucking Baylor and all those guys and fucking yeah. Okay. And Big Ten is the Big Ohio Twelve State, has ten teams and the Big, Ohio State and Penn State and fucking yeah. Michigan. The Big Michigan Ten State. is gonna have twenty five teams in it, and the Big Twelve only has ten. Right. Okay. Severe heartburn. All right. So, college football, Kenny. <sighs> well, Caleb Williams won the Heisman. I told y'all that was going to happen. Yep. Uh, it'll be interesting how much he plays against Tulane. Uh, totally took below to first team All American. Will Anderson won Defensive Player of the Year two years in a row. Uh, Alabama lost like 15 cats. There's like a thousand kids in the portal. Over. Yeah. Definitely over a thousand. <laughs> um, a bunch of QBs. I think, uh, Matt Stafford in, in, entered the tra- transfer portal. If you look close <laughs> enough, I'm actually in the transfer portal. <laughs> I put up my El Camino College um, <laughs> numbers. Yeah, totally, dude. But, yeah, Malik Cunningham, quarterback for Louisville, kind of shocked that he's skipping his bowl game and he declared for the draft. Uh, Why Anthony he declared? Re- yeah, he declared. Me too. Me too. I was like, kind of a poor, a poor man's Lamar, but I think he'll catch yeah, on somewhere. Maybe the Ravens can can get him as the DFA. They will. I swear <laughs> they will. <laughs> Not only that, you have a quarterback from Florida, Anthony Richardson. Oh yeah, got to wear Tebow's number. Kid has a rocket for an arm. Well, the crazy thing with Ohio State Probably is was a four three forty. Everyone's talking about uh, CJ and about how he's hurt his dra- draft stock because they couldn't really throw touchdowns in that game. Bro, been throwing NFL dimes for two years. Get off CJ Stroud's head. And he's from Cali, so I'm not gonna let y'all do him like that. Um, secondly, Jackson Smith. The, I don't even know how to say his last name. And Jigba. And Jigba. There you go. His uh, brother is actually a baseball player, professional baseball player. I think it's his cousin. But, um, yeah, he had a really bad ankle injury, and he just never recovered. He had 1,600 receiving yards last year for Ohio State. Pretty much didn't play at all this year, and it's looking like a late first-round pick. I mean, the way Garrett Wilson is doing, the fact that Jamison Wilson's first NFL touchdown, first NFL Jameson catch was a 41-yard touchdown, and he was a he was like a six-ring he was like a six-ring receiver at Ohio State, goes to Bama, damn it, was a blend to call. Um, then you got Chris Olave doing what he's doing for the Saints. Two first round picks out of Ohio State. And Marvin Harrison yep. Jr. can't even get into the draft until next year. He doesn't want to bullet in the cough. I mean Jalen yeah. Hyatt does for Tennessee. But I think that was the right call. He's averaging like damn near thirty yards a catch for Tennessee. So it just makes more sense. Um, just a lot of, uh, also I talk about Grace McCall, Coastal Carolina, QB, like 78 career touchdowns, only like eight picks. That's fucking insane. That's an insane number for any QB. It'll be interesting to see where he goes. I hope he doesn't end up at Auburn because Auburn's trash. <laughs> then you got Ohio State playing Georgia, which honestly I think is the best matchup. I think Ohio State could beat them. Ohio State got the receivers to beat them and the running backs to beat them. Now, the defense is suspect, but Stetson Bennett, I'm sorry. Great college player, or good college. I'm not going to call him a great college player. He's a good college player, but he's not that guy in the pros. Surprisingly fast. I just, 
You're not going to tell me he's a better player than C.J. Stroud. So C.J. Stroud really just has to overcome Georgia's defense. And honestly, I think they can do it. Now, if Georgia just proves to be that much more dominant, then, hey, Michigan has no chance. TCU actually, I think, could upset Michigan. This might be one of the most lame duck players. I mean, there were, there were a lot of people saying, though, I think that's the thing is, like, with it's not that CJ is bad, but he a lot of people, Michigan. he never he never hit the stride that people were expecting him to hit. I mean, he won a Rose Bowl. Like, like he, never ha- he never had his signature Heisman moment. He did. And, and it was low-key his Heisman to lose coming into the year. I mean, his best. And he never beat Michigan. Which okay. he sang a lot in Ohio uh, State his best, modern QB history. His best game was against Utah. Because there's a lot of trash ass. He oh, put up oh, NFL State numbers. You can say they beat Michigan. Hey man, he put up NFL numbers against Utah. Is guess and what? CJ Stroud don't play defense now, does he? And they said CJ uh, Stroud to give up 400 yards rushing now, did he? And they said uh, they scored like 48 in that game. He's. They said he's a really, really well rounded. Young man, so they like said like, he's not thrower of the football. He's not like that boy got those dimes. Even saying though, he's not like all in on, not that he's not all in on football, but like he could do other stuff too. Like you know what? A well, he's a dabbler and a well-rounded man. I don't like when people say that as a negative, because I feel like it's only used yeah. as a negative towards black. Yeah, QBs. no, no. Because, like, true. nobody says anything about Will Levis drinking fucking mayo in his coffee. I'm not using it as a That's negative. That's a red flag. I'm not using Will it as Levis a negative. Well I think it's a good thing. When yeah. He, when he drinks mayo in his coffee. You're using <laughs> You're sick, Lucas. You're using that as a good thing. But I'm saying, like, people are going to say, oh, um, Caleb Williams' is class is because he painted fuck Utah on his nails. They didn't beat Utah. That's why yeah. he's like, fuck Utah. <laughs> they don't like Utah. That's a rivalry. You're supposed to say fuck the other side. So I mean, that whole situation. People just people just nitpicking stuff at people's character. We'll see. You just got a lot. I would just have uh, to say a lot to prove. So a great game against Georgia, I think. I think Clemson will really like, put him back into that top three. I feel like. Early National Recruiting Day, which is coming up pretty soon. Early National Recruiting Day is going to be real interesting. Who commits early for the transport portal is going to be real interesting. And should we just get straight to this Deion Sanders thing so we can close out college football? Sure. Deion Sanders went to Colorado. <laughs> they getting a bunch of people off the transfer portal. And a bunch of people he's leaving, he's taking with the team. But T.C. Taylor, he's a, he's going to be their head coach. And his is his what, son coming? Or his son's, his son's done? Definitely coming. Oh, yeah. I don't know if Shiloh's coming, but I definitely, because Shiloh was at South Carolina first. Mm. He Uh-oh. might stay. Who knows? But I know Shadur is definitely coming. And honestly, I think he's like the fourth best QB in the Pac 12. Like, is that yeah. a good thing or a bad thing? I mean, if you win the Heisman like Caleb did, you're the fucking best quarterback in the conference. Michael Penix Jr., who should have got. Heisman and <laughs> He's the second best. But I'm him. but I'm saying, are you saying they have the fourth best quarterback as in like good in for the them? They haven't had that? Or like are you saying it as in like that's the best that he'll be either way? So it doesn't you really, really matter. Richard Sanders is better than Caleb Williams. I'm asking you what you think. I'm asking Oh no, you. I'm I'm posing the question back out there like if well, that's Williams not that's not what the question is. But what I'm saying is, are you saying that's I a good thing for Colorado, or are you just saying it doesn't matter? This is kind of the best case scenario for them to get. So then Shadur you're Sanders. saying it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because they got to put a line in front of his son, and I don't think this is people talking nepotism. Cody Hawkins just got hired as the head coach at Idaho State. Um, <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, his, are you kidding me? Yeah. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Uh, Are you kidding me? Yeah. Sacramento State's head coach just got hired at Stanford after they it's, lost 63-66 to 66 to U, uh, UIW. It's funny and that you Bob, brought up the Hawkins in the middle of Colorado. <laughs> yep, because, boy, those were dark times when Cody Hawkins was the starting quarterback 
at Colorado, and everybody was mad at Dan Hawkins, who had success at Boise State. Everybody was mad at him because he kept playing his son, who sucked, honestly. He did. He still had a... His own teammates were shitting on him. He was not good. He um, UC Davis. No, he was at UC Davis. He got fired? No, he. I just told you he just took the head coaching job at Idaho State. I'm talking about the older Hawkins, Dan Hawkins. Cody Hawkins. Oh, yeah, Dan Hawkins. About... I think he's still there, yeah. That's what I was talking oh, about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, because the Idaho State coach who was there for only one year pretty much just shit-canned all his players and just said, <laughs> I'll run all of you out of here. Damn. I didn't even know there was an Idaho State, if I'm being there's honest. All, there's yeah, always been an Idaho I State. Either, but you know what? It sounds about You're welcome. The more you know. Yeah. It's like Idaho. I, I know there's an Idaho. They got bumped down to FCS. Damn. Shout out to Nick Vanny, though, because he won, like, the Jerry Rice Award, pretty much like the Heisman for freshmen, who also Damn. was a quarterback Damn. under uh, Travis Clark, Rondell High's head coach. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, when it comes down to this whole Deion Sanders situation, what he did at Jackson State in three years, I just want to know, how come none of you other coaches did that shit? Don't give me always oh, prime time. He says he's that. Dog, are you a man or are you a child? Because children make excuses. HBCUs have had corrupt leadership for years before Deion ever even thought about going to HBCU. And I've talked to people extensively who, who are from HBCUs. We we're going to have OB on. I don't know what happened. We'll see what happens later next week, whatever. But when it comes down to it, HBCUs have had an inherent problem of corruption and having some of the stupidest fucking people work in these offices as pencil, as paper pushers, as administrators, just taking a fucking check and going home and not listening to the young people, and not doing right by the young people, and then you wonder why Jackson State only had 7% of their fucking donors giving back. Um, All the talk of, oh, you're going to a PWI, that's not selling out, because honestly, if, if what are HBCUs producing... If it's a bunch of people who are just selling out other black people. I don't know. That video you sent me was kind of a sellout video. Huh? <laughs> that video you sent me was kind of a sellout video. There's a couple. Where he was just walking around the town just getting free meals, and he's like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, the service was great, and everyone was great, but... Uh, I, I'm going to get to those flaws. But but, but the, the mashed potatoes kind of needed a little bit more salt. That's all I'm going to say. No, but he said but everything else seasoning. was great. The it's like, it was all great, but it needed a little seasoning. And I'm like, come on, Dion. Dion... You're pandering right now. Has, that's all Dion's ever done is pandered. He's always been about self You said it. He's always been about Dion. It. You Neon said it. Dion. Ain't no shock. I'm not shocked. I'm just saying, you said it. But I'm just saying, he, like, if they win this game in the Celebration Bowl, which was the last thing he needed to check off, they go 13 and 0. They were ba- he was bathing out in the fucking pool. He spent his money to fix administration buildings. He gave back half a salary. Is Nick Saban giving back any of his salary? For Alabama, no. He hasn't written into the fucking school's constitution that the school literally pays for his house. His kids get free room and board. Like, he is a patron saint in Alabama. He gets shit that wouldn't, like, in, if you had, if he had. So some, what's your point? If he had the contract that he does in Alabama in California, people would sue. They would run Okay, out of so office. what's your point? Dion did more for HBCUs in three years a lot of these HBCU coaches and administrators have done in the 20 years that they've been working at a school. Got um, it. But what now, is he going to do for Colorado football, which uh, hasn't been good since I will say, Eric Bieniemy was quarterback. There. I will say the negative. The negative is if you don't win, you're going to look stupid as fuck because you took Colorado. You could have been a king at Jackson State, and you chose bum-ass Colorado. Why not Stanford? They were Dion was never gonna Stanford, be welcome at Stanford. He first off, he can't get the athletes he wants at Stanford because of the grades, yeah. Because of the grades. Sense, yeah. And they don't want no no black man like that up at Stanford. He's like the total opposite of David Shaw in some aspects. 
personality wise. That shit would never work. So if they yeah, hire Rich, so if they hire Richard Sherman as a defensive coordinator, That's and in start. three years he takes over as head coach, interim head well, coach, I'm going to hold you to this exact this exact good. statement. I'll yeah. buy you a fucking tomahawk steak. I'll take you to Fleming's, right. dog. Right, I'll take I'm you in. to Fleming's. I'm in. I'm in. All it right, won't I'm happen, in. but you know, <laughs> wishful fucking thinking, my guy. <laughs> I'll let you get extra mashed potatoes with the corn in it, but. No, nah, for real. Like, totally understand why someone would say he's selling out. Because you, he he came at you like a preacher. Yeah, he did. It was more of how he did it. Black everything. people, he came to you. He came to us in the South. He did. On some preacher shit, and y'all should know better. And, like, like y'all should I, come to HBCU, blah, blah, blah. God brought me like, here. Yeah. No, he fucking didn't, Dion. Those when son, he was giving those sermons from the wheelchair, that was a lot, bro. I mean, I will say this. The man almost <laughs> died on that sideline. He he lost two toes. He gave two, to, two toes to Jackson State. So Jackson State can't really say shit because were y'all putting money on his travel expenses? Uh, no, he used his deals and his brands with Under Armour and Walmart and everything else to enrich Jackson State. And then he gave them a blueprint. And then he stayed. How many coaches stay and say, no, I'm going to finish coaching this last game because I owe you all that, and that's what my contract states. And then he built a successor and a staff. Say, all right, so final thing just to wrap this all up. Look all right. at, move, moving forward. Get off his dick. But moving honestly, forward, what, USC, UCLA have one more year in the Pac-12? Or they're out? One they more should. year. One more year. Um, you got them. You the have Washington, to pay anywhere the, between two million and ten million. The Washington teams were were semi relevant this year. And Oregon, they might go to the Oregon. Big supposed to come back in two years. Oregon and both Washington. The Arizonas schools, are still shit shows. They might go to the Big Twelve. The and Big Twelve might poach, try to. Poach Utah's them. Utah. They're they're solid. Utah they're be good. Get, they'll you, they'll keep being good. Utah and the Arizona schools could get poached to the Big Twelve. And then, Am I missing someone? Cal's Cal. They were not going to do anything. Cal's just stuck by themselves. But they get money. Who else? Did I miss anybody? Stanford. So, so with all that, well, the Pac-12 I guess be dead. In three I years. guess. I guess. Could we expect like a really great year in the Pac-12 football next year? Uh, Ooh. from USC, yeah. No, I mean in general, like an actual like. Top to bottom competitive season that it was competitive makes comp- this year. That's what I mean. Yeah, it was. Comp- that's what I've said. I just named off everything. I think. But now the bottom is die. getting a little bit better. Is do or Why won't he take year. Arizona State? Who? Dion. He wasn't gonna too get crazy. It. They already hired somebody from Arizona State, a former player who was. Mm. They hired the offensive coordinator, Dillingham at Oregon. To coach at Arizona oh, State. Yeah, yeah, they hired that guy. Yeah, they yeah. had four black coaches in the Pac-12, and now they only have like one, which is Dion. <laughs> but yeah, so that's yeah, what that's I'm saying. Oh, so but do you, Colorado would you, has hired four black coaches you, in the last twelve years. Would you expect? So I ain't afraid. Would you expect the Pac-12 football as a whole to be even better and more no. competitive and more nationally relevant no. next year? UCLA had their best chance at being nationally relevant. And got clapped by USC. Now they got to play in the fucking Sun Bowl against Pittsburgh. Neither one of those teams wants to be there. Keen Slovis is in the transfer portal. People say he was going to be a first round pick. I don't know what kind of fence and all they were smoking. <laughs> I mean, I mean, if he does really well, like the next school he goes to, then I don't know, maybe. But it's very, very. Oh yeah, and um, because we were talking about Malik Cunningham from Louisville, his head coach Scott Satterfield, or whatever the fuck his name is who ushered Appalachian State into D1 football because he was a coach when they were FCS and he got them to D1. This dude took the job at Louisville, right? Now, the first day the, the the first day the portal opened, this motherfucker took the job at Cincinnati. And now Deion Branch, the former Louisville Cardinal, all time great as the interim head coach at Louisville. But that's not even the worst part. You know who Louisville's playing, and I think the Pinstripe Bowl. You want to know who Louisville's playing in their bowl game? Since a fucking natty. 
Yeah. The head look. coach was just there at Louisville, and he went zoom. He pulled a what's that dude who I can't fucking stand who got fu- Todd Graham. Um, he fo- he pulled a fucking Todd Graham straight to Cincinnati. Louisville to Cincinnati that I thought, fast. I thought you were gonna say Brian Kelly. <laughs> I mean, I was about to, but that dude just straight up he 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 fixes the program, gets them relevant, and then when they start to lose and they become mid, then he leaves to go somewhere else. So now he's gonna be chilling at Cincinnati because he got the Ohio recruiting base to eat off of. So yeah, but everybody wants to give shit to all these kids in the portal. But this dude left a job at Louisville to go straight to Cincinnati. The team you're playing in the fucking bowl game. Bruh. Would it? I'm busting kneecaps. I'm pulling be a Michigan better, State better in better the spot than Colorado, though? Hmm? Isn't Cincinnati a better job than Colorado? He probably wasn't going to be considered for it. Like, this is the first time HBCU head coach has been pulled up from HBCUs to D1. And Colorado's the play. If you can win in Colorado, they'll give you a chance. They'll love you. I mean, oh, um, what's his name? Who's that? Mel Tucker left Colorado, but he was building something. But shit, I would have left Colorado to go to Michigan State too. That's a guarantee. That's a guarantee. Take, take, take. We're paying you. because he did more for HBCUs than a lot of y'all. All right, Lucas, tee us up. Tangent. Stay in Green Bay next year. Yeah, so basically they reported Jordan Love will ask for a trade if Aaron Rodgers is still around next year. Hell yeah. I'm going to say... Trade him to the Patriots. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're getting Jimmy G back. I don't know. It's like... It's hard for me to imagine Aaron Rodgers doing anything else. Because, like, you know, he doesn't Brady. have, like, a family, and he's kind of toxic. Yeah. That's fucked yeah. up. Wow. Yeah, Why he'll would... be doing something else. He'll be doing Jeopardy. That was <laughs> oh, okay. There you go. You got me. Yeah. And Ayahuasca? All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying is, like, yeah, well, that was dark. I mean, I guess he could move teams, but like, really, where would he go? Where he'd be better? I mean, Are you gonna trade him for Russ or Buccaneers. Brady? The Just... only place he would go to would be the Niners, but I don't think the Niners would trade for him because they don't have like any draft capital. Exactly, and then the cap, Buccaneers, and then you're just. And then at this point, are we even sure Aaron Rodgers is Aaron Rodgers? Like, are you just, Buccaneers. are you just trading? One used car for another used car? Like, well, I see what you did there. Son of a bitch. That was... <laughs> no, I, I, I'm right there with I, you. That wasn't a Derek Carr reference, but I'm just it saying. It felt like one. It wasn't. It felt it like I was on the conveyor belt. Double entendre. But yeah. Car insurance, all that. I'm just saying, like, it's like, yeah, but it's still like, it's like getting a really nice, like, used Mercedes, and you're like, yeah, it's cool, but it's also like a used Mercedes, and has 100,000 miles, and even though it runs good right now, like, the repairs on it are going to be a bitch. So, like, do I really want this? Especially if I already have, like, a slightly newer car, but I don't know, man. I I don't know. Aaron Rodgers baffles me. Like, I don't, I can't even pretend to predict what he's going to do. Aaron Rodgers. But I will say him and Devontae Adams are still cool, so... Aaron Rodgers to the Buccaneers. I guess I can hope. Tom Brady getting the fuck out of here, bro. The Buccaneers, yeah, yeah. Tom Brady getting the fuck out of here, no? Yeah, he, they said he has a lot of resignation. He is done. Because they'd just be like, yeah, my O-line is what it is. Like, my receivers are what they are. Like The Packers have an elite pass blocking offensive line. But Rodgers is like, look, man, I'll make it easy for everybody to just leave. Like, it's I not know fair. what I'm not wanting. Yeah. I don't know what I want. He got some abandonment issues, so that is some shit he would do. <laughs> He's I'm oldest. not going to break up. I'm not going to yeah, let you bro. break up with me. I'm going to break up with y'all. I'm out. Yeah. And like, you know but we, You're but better for it. We already got a replacement for you. Yeah, but, like, I'm leaving. Okay. So he can, okay, he can then. thrive without me. Yeah. 
You don't they, need me anymore. It, yeah, and they're like, yeah, okay, thanks. And they're like, yeah, so I'm just going to leave. Hopefully like, hopefully you don't <laughs> okay, fuck up Aaron. his career like you did mine. And they're like, okay, Aaron, we got it. You're leaving. They're like, yeah, I'm requesting a trade. And they're like, yeah, we, we hear you, Aaron. Like, Make sure you actually build a defense <laughs> around him this time and keep guys. <laughs> well, we heard you. And you know, you should probably take one more receiver. Like, Aaron, we got it. We got Are you it. sure you got it? Because I don't see any Super Bowls coming in your future anytime soon. Justin Fields is beating the dog shit out of you guys. When I'm out of here, I'm gone. I'm going to. I'm, going to I'm leaving. I'm, I'm not coming back. I'm not walking through this door. I'm going to Tampa Bay to beat I'm your Chiefs. I'm not getting my playoffs. jersey retired here. And you know, you better retire my jersey, you fuckers. <laughs> I'm going to go to Tampa Bay, and then we're going to come back here and beat your cheeks in the middle of the frozen tundra in December. And you're going to have to live with that shit. I'm gonna piss my name in the I fucking. About this one. I'm gonna piss my name in the snow. How about this one, I'll give you one. Football Giants. Whoa. New York Football Giants. How if the they keep Saquon. The if they keep Saquon. That's. Oh, I don't God. They got a defense. He would turn into Kanye. <laughs> the Jets. He go to the Jets and save no, Robert Sala's job. You can't do that, bro. Yeah. You can't do yeah. that. He'd yeah. be better off going to Minnesota, honestly. Nah, Minnesota. <laughs> Minnesota's nah, be better all off going in. to Minnesota. Minnesota's like, you know what? We were going to break up, but I got you. I, I nutted you twice and got you pregnant. You got twins. And I'm not going to leave yeah. you. And you're not going to leave me. So we're just going to fucking huff this shit out. But you can't go to the Jets. That's where Favre killed himself. Man, Favre was never as, oh. as, wasn't half as good as Rodgers. Fair enough. All right. Rodgers didn't throw picks until Next he got one. no receivers and no tight ends and a fucking uh, a coach who forgot how to have a good offense and a defense that blows games. If you put Aaron Rodgers with that young-ass receiving core in the Jets and then you got uh, what's-his-face coming back, Brees Hall, shit. Mm-hmm. All right, next one. Yeah, all right. Well, I'm we talking about half something. One, but will Dion be? Do you think Dion will be successful at Colorado? I give him two years. <laughs> two years. I give him his son senior year, and they oh, went. Shit. They somehow win eight games. Yeah. Um, Colorado's I'll, gonna turn into a powerhouse just because they get a bunch of five stars. All those cats were five star backups. Trey Sanders was a backup, like an A string backup at Bama. All these cats in the portal, they didn't play where they were. Some of them played where they were, but a lot of them didn't. A lot mm-hmm. of them, well, you were a five-star in high school, and you ain't shit now, so. That's why I don't really get the, like, I mean, I get the Colorado thing from, like, a, like you said, moving eight, moving up. His assistants are going to get paid more. He has more resources and the money to do what and he the wants to do. I get that, but I'm just saying, like, they for, just are for, him, white. for him, from his strategic perspective like it doesn't really make a lot of sense because he, like he's literally doing the opposite of what he was doing before like you didn't want to be an assistant the, the campus the campus the, the culture the culture everything is just he's more cowbell different. well that's why you said it needs some more seasoning and he's the seasoning <laughs> well we'll see how it goes <laughs> i mean like he said i think the the problem is not just can you be successful at Colorado, but can you actually build something and maintain it? Longer than three years? Yeah, and maintain it. And I doubt it. Pac-12 won't exist. And that's years. the other thing, too, is, like, if he's going to get a good, stable job, I think at some point he's got to prove that it's not just, hey, I'm moving over here, catching lightning in a bottle and bringing transfers and a brand with me. Like, Why not? Because that sounds off, that sounds that sounds like an NFL coach. Scoop the portal. That sounds every like year. A, that sounds like an NFL coach. You can scoop the portal every year. But yeah, bro. I mean, maybe maybe that's true. Maybe that's that's just the way that it's going to be now. It's, it's sad. basically semi pro. But what I'm saying is, if he's going to be a, a, the next Nick Saban, like he's got to. He's not the next Nick Saban. He's, he's the first thing on Sanders. He's got to prove. That. He's got to prove that he can build something. He's Coach Prime. He already built something. But I'm saying, like, beyond just building it, keeping it going. It's like, it's one thing to build a one-story or two-story house. It's another thing to keep building a fucking complex. Well, I think that's true. You got to see if some, if he... Like, he's proving he can build a house, and he a nice-ass fucking house, bro. Inside out. But 
Can you build a whole complex? We got to see that. We'll see, because ain't nobody slowing down for Colorado. Yep. All right. They got the shit kicked out of them. Next they only one. beat Cal last year. Next one. All right. Will Jerry Judy be uh, traded in the offseason? Nah. <sighs> That'd be a stupid idea. He just had three. Shout out to Mark Griffin. Boys, he stayed alone. I mean, that's what's hard well, about this whole I mean, this whole offseason yeah. is like. Three touchdown passes. I mean, I talked about it last year. To your first-round pick receiver. We talked about it last year. There was going to be a lot of turn. Like, the past two years, we talked about a lot of turnover with the quarterbacks. This year, we're going to see it again because people are already bust. People have already not panned out or haven't lived up to their expectations in just these past two, three draft classes. Have low-key been mid as fuck. Mm -hmm. We're keeping it buck. Miller and Drake's last album. Yeah, basically. So, with that, like, what sort of values were, like, Russell Wilson going to have? What are they going to do with him? Are they going to swap him for another veteran quarterback? Are they going to just hope that year two is better than year one? Because they put a lot of fucking marketing behind him. Like, yeah. it's yeah. not it's not weapons. It's not offensive lines. It's not running backs. He has all that. It's just has it come together. So, maybe it's coaching. Maybe the coaching takes the blame, but I don't know. So what are you going to do there? And in general, and just to the even go back to the first question with Rodgers, like we don't know what he's going to do, what value he's going to have. We don't know what Brady's going to do, what value is he going to have. Carr might be free. Kirk might be free. Like, So there's going to be a lot of turnover again with quarterbacks. Lamar, we don't know what he's going to do, but we're assuming he's going to stay in Baltimore. Kyler, the Cardinals are going to go through a change. So is he going to be good there? Like, so Stafford we, is up in the air. So there's a lot of shit that could happen as far as quarterbacks are concerned in the off season, and all that affects what the Broncos are going to do with Wilson, which therefore impacts what they're going to do with Judy. And so ultimately, I think they probably will trade him because we saw what the price was for receivers last year. You know, it's it's pretty high, minus Amari Cooper, and I think Dallas is kicking themselves in the ass for that. So, yeah, T.Y. Because that's literally the one thing that they're missing. They got T.Y. Hill. Like, they literally AARP. need Amari Cooper, and they'd be probably the best team in the league. Mr. AARP in the slot, T.Y. Hill. Hey, man. He had 800 yards last year, and, like, what? That's shocking. 15 games, 13 games or something. Just open, man. Shout out to T.Y. Hilton. Yeah. I've, I've never been a big T.Y. Hilton fan, but he, he How makes plays, bro. Out of, I think he was out of Florida. He makes plays. It was Florida International. He put makes the team plays. on his back coming out of college. He really transformed himself into an elite receiver. He did. Killed the Texans every time he played them. So maybe uh, some of the Colts receivers can take notes. All right, moving on. Oh, got some breaking news, actually. All right. Tyler Lockett out for the rest of the season. Broken. Damn. Really? Ouch. A broken yep. index finger? You'd be surprised. Yep. Really? Tyler Boyd missed the game because of a fucking a messed up pinky. Broke his finger on one of his hands. Throw some stick up on it, bro. You uh, good? Stick him is illegal now. <laughs> Just tape it up. Put some BOA on it. Put <laughs> some olive oil on it. Nah. Throw some fucking chamoy on it. <laughs> uh, what did we damn. find out the fucking sticker makers? After Stick'em got outlawed, they just make chamoy now? <laughs> uh, <laughs> sick they really man. found out that Stick them was edible, and they just threw some hot sauce in there. And we're like, yeah, it's chamoy now. <laughs> yeah, chamoy like and cinnamon. Nice <laughs> chamoy and cinnamon roll sauce. Oh, that's fucking funny. Uh, hey. Yes. Next so, one. Jerry World. Jerry World. Yeah, man, that's crazy to me because they just got that crypto bag from a former client of mine. 
And they also, I mean, it wasn't that long ago that it was like the state of the art arena. But then Allegiant and SoFi got built, which so far, Jerry, really small which though. Jerry has deals with. So really, Alicia looks small from the outside. He just got, he just got, like he really just like put himself in a position to where like he's always gonna have the best stadium. Mm. He monopolized, not monopolized. He all oligopolized fucking NFL stadiums. Like they all break bread with legends. So it's like. He's getting bread off everyone's stadium, and he still has the best stadium, and now he's reinvigorating it. They already had, like, hologram shit and a bunch of different, like, technology stuff. I've never been there, but I want to go there. So Kenny might go there to be determined. <laughs> well, now where it's at? The Cod Bowl in Arlington. I'm still waiting uh, on the credentials. The Is old it, Cotton Bowl Stadium was really nice. It was old. But the new one, I've never been to uh, Jerry's Palace. I did see plane tickets for $800. I was like, Jerry's what the fuck? Palace. All right. Last hey, one. Pray, the plane tickets are around 375 Last one. Yeah, so. Yeah, so in case you missed it, basically on Monday night. Horrific. Um, Devontae, Devontae Parker took a hit. Uh, fumbled. They recovered. He went, got up. They lined up again, and Nelson Aguilar was basically trying to screaming, wave him off, and say like, "Hey, this dude is like not right right now." And to Nikki in the group chat, shout out to Nikki. That's not even why they stopped to play. They stopped to play because they challenged the fumble. Yeah. So <clears throat> that boy passed out in his stance. He just slunched to his knees. He was out on his feet. It was bad. And this concussion spotter should have spotted that. Yeah, I saw it live. I was like, oh, he's stumbling and stuff. And didn't he have concussion stuff, too, in Miami? Yeah. But, I mean, yeah, like, probably. the crazy thing is... Friends don't let friends play with concussions. <laughs> it, man, it happens more than you think. Well, yeah, I know it happens. That's the scary part. I know it happens, but that's what I'm saying. It's like friends, friends don't let friends do that. Like that's why it's like yeah, that whole Miami shit idea. was big because it's like, bro, like you guys just like lick this man in the huddle, knew he wasn't right, and still were like, well, fuck it, like <laughs> trying to win, dog. Yeah, <laughs> like fuck it. Hell you guys, you guys didn't even believe in his heart <laughs> three weeks ago. Now y'all are like, fuck it, we're trying to win. <laughs> like, like, nah, y'all, y'all, y'all just ears. come back, bro. <laughs> like, y'all just, y'all are just thinking about where where are we going to space after this shit, bro? Like, because <laughs> it's true. <laughs> They're like, where we got the bottles at? We are we on Thursday night? Where the bottles at after this? Disrespectfully wild. All right, moving on. Touchdown or turnover? Turnover. All right, Lucas, you want to do double duty? Yeah, yeah. Go for it. I'm deep. All right. Is Wade Baker and then. Obviously, it was a fucking touchdown because they won. Moving forward, moving forward, it's honestly probably a touchdown because, like, remember that fucking Walford hype a season and a half ago mm-hmm. at the end of the yeah, year I with fucking Jared Goff? That. Yeah, yeah, that was fucking disgusting, bro. Like, look at what Jared yeah. Goff is doing right now. That's why I fucking <laughs> can't stand Rams fans. You guys deserve to spend an eternity at fucking Angel Stadium. Period. <laughs> You guys can't even talk shit to me. That's how sad you are. At least the Chargers fans know how to talk shit. At least the Charger fans will sit there in their fucking stadium, all seven of them, and watch the Raiders come out in fucking (laughs) victory formation and walk out with a side-by-side with a tail between their legs. Because you know why? Because, one, they're used to it. And, two, they don't give a fuck because they're Chargers fans. Like, you can't give a fuck if you're a Chargers fan. Like, Rams fans, oh, we're going to leave. 
Like, fuck y'all. Yeah. And All then right. the, the three people that stay are like, oh, Baker. Georgia. <laughs> Shut your ass up. That's why, man. It's sad, bro. Like, y'all. Y'all won a Super Bowl and y'all still can't talk shit. It's disgraceful. <laughs> Yeah, Sad. Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse Shout out to St. Louis, man. Honestly, <sighs> honestly, every LA friend should have to go to St. Louis, like Mecca, like pilgrimage there, <laughs> fight somebody from St. Louis who's a real Rams fan, and then you can be a Rams fan. Yes. Unless yes. You, unless you went and saw them at Big A, then you're grandfathered in. But yeah, other than that, fuck the Rams. Next. Okay, then. Lost my old boys from you, whole ass people. I had to fucking cheer for the Rams because no one else was. That's how sad it was. All right, so. Any? Yeah. Talked about it earlier in the show. <sighs> I mean,. I feel like I feel like it's just a little too early for him, but, but. Well, was it a touchdown or a turnover? Uh, I, the punt on his I future think QB punt. I think I, it's a I think squib kick. Use, uh, I think he could have used at least a. All right, you can skip the next one. We already talked about that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I saw this report. I don't know who reported it because, yeah, there's nobody cites their fucking sources anymore. Yeah. But cowards, according to whatever fucking insider quoted whatever fucking GM slash fuck. Yeah, you see, they don't announce their sources, so why do I got to read where I got the fucking report from? It doesn't matter. I read it on the Bleacher Report app. It could have been from NBC. It could have been from CBS. It could have been from ESPN. But it doesn't matter since nobody cites their sources anymore. But, yeah, according to this fucking read that I read while I was walking, this uh, insider was like, yeah, Odell will be the class of the wide receiver class in free agency. And I'm like, is it that dire? Is it that dry? Like, he wasn't even the class of this free agency class. That's why Allen Robinson got. Give me Brandon Cooks, dog. I think Brandon Cook still has another year on his contract. He's being held hostage in Houston. I think he has. I think he has, but it's not fully guaranteed, so he might become a free agent. Uh, I can't think of who else is a free agent off the top of my head because that's like the one position that the Raiders aren't entirely asset. So it's like the least of my priority. They're probably going to trade with Waller. They're probably trading to Miami or fucking. Green Bay, yeah, Green Bay wanted him at the trade deadline. But not if they don't have Rodgers. Because then at that point, what are you doing? Buccaneers! Or Buccaneers, yeah. I mean, honestly, I'd trade him for a third-round pick, bro. Evan Ingram matter having the fucking I'd trade him for a, a third-round pick and a, and a... Oh, you thought you were going to get a third-round pick for a tight end with an injury problem? Hey, if you could get a third round pick, I'd be happy with that. It's a finesse. But honestly, does Kelsey Plum just, include just the at trade? this point? At this point, it comes down to Josh Jacobs or Darren Waller. Josh Jacobs, Jingleheimer Schmidt. That's what I'm He's saying. He's gonna end up on the Dolphins. They'll probably pull that to watch the Dolphins. Jeff Wilson ain't shit. <laughs> Their defense is yeah, too legit. Jeff Wilson sucks. I think the Browns have cap space. I think the Bills have Two cap space. Two can't throw when he's pressed. Da, 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 da. But, yeah, I, honestly. I, Tua really can't throw when he has time. That's fucked up. But, either. see, that's what makes me even more sad <laughs> because statistic. if they do let go of Waller and Jacobs. Chargers can let go of Keenan Allen. I if, they let go of, if they let go of Waller and Jacobs, you can't let go of Carr, too. Not not right. saying that I wouldn't, but I'm just saying they won't. They can't afford $15 million a year from Josh Jacobs. Yeah, that's which true. Which is what he should demand. That's true. Give me $15 million, bitch. Yeah. I, I ran more yeah. 
I ran more than fucking Derrick Henry, and y'all didn't even give me the ball like that. <laughs> and I can catch. And our whole line was trash. They literally cut all their guards. They Watch literally the cut Raiders all their fight. guards, bro. They Watch literally Raiders cut Raiders all guards. their fucking guards. Who does that? <laughs> Are you fucking the, kidding me? Isn't there bar, isn't bars on IR? And this fucking idiot says, oh, we're just doing it the Patriot way, testing offensive lines for the first few weeks of the season. It's week 15, dog. Trying to find the fucking fit. It's week 15, yeah, dog. You should have had your starting lineup week what? one, bitch. You should have had him in the starting lineup to begin with. Would have solved yeah, so many problems. Seriously. Not it. Whoa. At left guard. But Bro. because you only had three-fifths of an offensive fucking line, Not even you're just going to walk. Fists. They had three-fifths of an offensive they line. They have 1.75. Now they do. They got they got two and two quarters. Now they do. Mm. They got to Cole start Miller. The they got fucking Andre, Andre James, James every and, third game. And Paul. And every every third game, he has a good game. And Parnum. And, and, and Parnum, who has a lot of effort but needs a lot of coaching. So it's like. For a rookie. You got 2.25. And, uh, and drafted eight defensive tackles. Probably and like, none of them are looking like they're even going to be in the league. T- Tariq Wolin leads the league in interceptions. Farrell, like Farrell looks better than Butler, sadly. No, Farrell's one of Butler the, looks bad. Farrell is a bigger bust than Jamal. I'm Russell. talking about Farrell with the A. He, he, he plays Not Farrell. He plays Farrell. <laughs> LSU Farrell? Yes, LSU Farrell. The motherfucker who was a nose Neil tackle. Farrell. Neil Farrell, yeah. Neil Farrell Jr., which, by the way, mm-hmm. Eric Johnson Jr. is looking pretty fucking great for the Colts right now. Yep. Getting people with fucking spin moves in practice, but you know, I was at the NFL PA game calling it. And the senior game bowl. Oh yeah. Sam Williams killing it for the Cowboys. Hmm. I wonder who fucking passed on him in the draft. All right. Bro, the Raiders moving on. Sh- fucking inept. Yeah, so the Raiders make yeah, me hate was. football. Raiders make me hate that I chose journalism as a life path. <laughs> Like, they yeah, almost, they, they make me, like, just, just suck the joy out of my All life. All right, man. Hurry up. We're all, all Fucking time. Christ. All right, bro. I remember the question. Miles. Miles. Yeah, so this was a cool thing. Basically, uh, Miles Sanders was mic'd up on Monday night, on uh, Sunday night football, sorry. And from the beginning, he was like, you know I'm mic'd up, right? They're like, you know I'm going to talk shit, though, still, right? And he was telling all his boys, he was like, yeah, watch. He I'm going I'm I'm to hit someone, and I'm going to do a Bobby Boucher. Woo! And he fucking did it, and he fucking cracked the shit out of some Giants linebacker. Put him on his ass. It was bad. And then, Adam, about right. and then Adam Sandler responded, love you, buddy. Which is <laughs> which is the gig, which is the, the joke. The joke from yeah. Waterboy, yeah. You know what's crazy? Blake Martinez really like led the Raiders in tackles and fucking retired. It was trash. This is all in one season. It was trash. This is all in one season, bro. It was trash. This is the longest season ever. He just looks like me with my life together. This is really the longest yard, bro. <laughs> Fuck. He just looks like me with his life together. Bro, the Vikings are gonna somehow make it to the NFC title game. Yeah. I was so fucking around loose to Tampa Bay. Never forget uh, L- LJ Fort in our S- Super Bowl game. He had like fucking seven picks. And we were like, this dude isn't even in the league because he has so many picks. He's not even a coverage linebacker. Why the fuck does he have seven? <laughs> Off ball! <laughs> man has seven. Man had a man tail year. Never replicate that shit again in history. A bad name. Uh, did he, uh, was he talking to like a. Yeah. Or yeah, Shit, probably. Probably, probably burning sage in his locker. <laughs> probably. <laughs> All right. Fair fade. Holy John God. Robinson fired by the Titans. That's fair. <laughs> they weren't progressing. You paid Tannehill. You traded AJ Brown. All your and corners. AJ Brown took them cheeks, boy. In the shower. He nibbles your ears. He did it. Wow, that was really kind of vulgar. Yeah, like the darkest corner of the shower. <laughs> it's really vulgar. Yeah. The darkest corner. <laughs> All right. That he was... said. He said, "I dare you to scream." Go ahead. He backed up, and you didn't scream. Like that's how bad he fucked you. Wow. Damn. It was Crazy. really vulgar. 
Like he didn't bother using a condom because he knew. Like, kind of offended. See, yeah, that's how the Titans DBs felt. This motherfucker has more receiving time, yards than your whole. Like AJ Brown has more receiving yards and touchdowns than literally the entire Titans wide receiver core. Yep. All right, next one. And Taylor Wan might get cut. Taylor Wan could come to the Raiders, play right tackle. Bust it with the boys in Vegas. Fuck it, let's do it. Uh, we already talked about this one, so I'll skip it. Next one. Uh, Matt Judon today tweeted basically at the NFL to leave him alone. They keep trying to test him. What was the quote? You you have the tweet, Lucas? Want to read it? Um, I had. Should be in the group I chat. Had it. Yeah. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah, it says, Dear, and he asks them, at NFL, PA, at NFL, leave me the F alone, please. There's no way this is random. I take melatonin to sleep sometimes. The rest is just for vibes. (laughs) So, fair or vague. Ashwagandha in this bitch. Judon adding the NFL and NFL, PA to leave him the fuck alone. That's fair. That's definitely fair. Yeah, man. He's, yeah, gotta be fair. He's just snorting BOA. Leave him alone. He's having a, <laughs> <laughs> he's having a fucking. <laughs> Give me your goddamn medical metaphors, <laughs> fucking um, acronyms. As lo- hey, I'd rather have him doing BOA than the John Jones. You, if you know what you I mean. Tell, if you know you, what I mean, can you, tell you know them, what I'm saying. Can you, you know. Tell the, you know, I, you know I, I was made aware. He knows. He knows. Right he knows top. what I'm talking about. Tip of the nose. He knows. He knows. Tip of the nose of the base. <laughs> all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, um, fucking stupid idiot. Why are you so fucking stupid? Shit. <laughs> John Jones. Ooh, Chandler needs to get some of that John Jones. We hey, man, don't I don't want no problems. That whole family can fight. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting peeled off the yeah. pavement because you, right. you want to make a fucking joke. You're right. You're right. You're right. Shut up, bro. You're right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they're all fucking... Uh, they letting petty assaults go from, in L.A. You know all, that, right? They're all from the fucking... Um, they're letting petty assaults go. His brother just that, been retired. That tribe from the dude that always loses his Black Panther. And Baku? Yeah. Uh, Don't yeah, get me started on Black Panther, bro. My mom saw that shit, and she was so pissed. She was mad, she too? Was yes. And she's a woman. Yeah, a black woman, yeah. A black woman. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> From West Oakland. I'm like, wait. Nobody said to Angela Baskin, you realize you helped form a coup and killed your own nephew, right? Like, you have the blood of Killmonger on your hands. Like, yeah, he burned the heart-shaped herb, but y'all should have had that shit tucked away somewhere as a fail-safe against whoever is king so they don't go power-hungry. Why the fuck you just growing that shit in, like, the third room You're talking in the back of the shit, house? Bro. You're talking about old shit. We can talk about the new shit. I'm just saying Namor's a, is... Namor's a pussy, and he's only good at beating up women. There, I said it. Damn. Namor got no smoke for... Where the fuck you were just hiding out when T'Challa was having to run fades against Thanos, you punk bitch. If it was me, I would have had a vibranium mound. I would have turned that mound into a magnet and just brought everybody out the water and just watched y'all suffocate. You, your kids, everybody. Fuck y'all. Playing, acting like assholes. Like, let's let's play that game. All right, last one. See Wakanda and die. If, if we're, Fair. If, we're, if Black Panther 3 isn't fucking World War Wakanda, then why did you waste my fucking time? Why did you make me care about the second one? I'm done with the whole Marvel. Phase monster. five. Why did you fucking waste I'm my done. time? I'm done with Marvel. You're not going to tell good stories? You're just going to... I just have to wait on fucking Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. 33. No, into the Spider-Verse. I'm still... I still have to go to therapy for what you guys did to Peter Parker. You sick fucks. All right. That man's never going to recover. Yeah, he gets to marry Zendaya. That shit... That last Spider-Man... Did so much trauma to him. He said, I don't want to do this shit no more. I'm going to marry my co-host. Or co-star, whatever the fuck. 
So last one, fair or fade? Fantasy bye weeks. Here your bitch ass go. You want to you since you know I'm, I'm passionate, twelve and two. Since you know I'm passionate on the topic, do you want to go ahead and go first? Um, I mean, I could take them or leave them, but I tell shit, I'm cool with it this week because I got, I'm I'm fighting for my fucking fantasy life in three leagues right now. Kittle went off thankfully, but all I know is I got Trevor Lawrence on my bench and Justin Fields starting. And guess what? Either way, I feel like I'm gonna get fucked. I'm just talking about in general fantasy bye week. Oh yeah, I'm okay with it. All right. I'm not okay with changing okay. the fucking league rules though at the okay. last second. All right. Can I talk now? Because Max was right. Okay. No, no, no. Max was right. All right. Max, I, I hope you're listening. You were right. Okay. Can I talk now? No, no. I want one more thing. We're gonna do fantasy bye weeks. We're gonna do fantasy bye weeks. Um the trade deadline gotta be shorter. All right. That's so, all I'm saying. So can I talk? All right. Here you can't go. just point those if you Here we go. Trades. Here we go. Here we go. This is why fantasy bye weeks are foul. I got one after this. This is why fantasy bye weeks are foul. Why do you have bye weeks in football? To rest up, recover from injury, get an extra week to strategize, to prepare, to get your bodies together. There's a million reasons why you have a fucking bye week in the middle of the season. It's a reason why they exist in high school, college. Mm-hmm. Professional Wait, you had football. a bye week in high school? Yeah. If you have a zero week or if you have zero a week. Zero week doesn't count. That's just the first game you play, and then you have 10 straight weeks of football. No, but then you have a zero week, and then you have a bye week somewhere else. Who the fuck? What high school did you go to? I didn't do that shit. We yeah. Didn't. We don't do that in the South Bay. You have we had games a bye week, too. You have your scrimmage, and then you got week one, buddy. Yeah, and sometimes the scrimmage is even before, and sometimes you have a scrimmage. and the Scrimmage is like the practice. end of hell week. Yeah, but sometimes you have a joint practice school. before that, or you have a inner squad scrimmage before that. Nah, anyways, we, we didn't do that shit. Anyways, the point is, we we had we had bi- we had a regular bye week, and then if we, we had, had a no zero week, week we and had if no we had week. a zero week, then we had another bye week. Shit, we had no bye weeks. Yeah. Once once our our scrimmage got done, and we're scrimmaging or losing or high against Compton. Okay. Again, how how many rings you got? Okay, you made the playoffs once in your career. Okay. How many rings you got, bitch? On. You ain't let's got no rings. On. Let's move on. You ain't got no rings. Let's move on. You ain't anyways, got no rings either. Anyways, don't play let's move me on. like that. Let's move on. All, All right. right. Cool. Stay so we explain why bye weeks exist, right? In the NFL, you're a great team. You win. One team gets a bye week. Okay. Cool. We got it. Now we're talking about fantasy. We're talking about something that's fake, that doesn't exist. Really? You play a fake game. For 14 weeks, Gambling, you do well, right. and what do you get? What's, What's your award? award? To not play? What what fucking sense does that make? That doesn't even make fucking sense, bro. It follows the NFL it format. Doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Like, okay, does. yeah, it follows the NFL format. Well, guess what? We all get bye weeks in week 18 now. So give everyone a bye week in week 15. How about that? How about everyone gets a bye week in week 15? No, the just playoffs the first start round. In week 16? No, just week the first 17, round. week 18? Or how about you put a fucking play-in game in week 15? Oh, God. So people who are in fucking three-way ties for the 16 actually have an opportunity to play their way back into the fucking playoffs. Now, nah, fuck you. How about you, that? Now, nah, fuck that. Because you, like, you were like literally minus six games in the league we're in and because of fucking bad luck and good coaching and Josh Jacobs. You managed to power your way into the playoffs. So calm the fuck down. Um, it works for everybody. And I don't need a fucking bye week. I'm a two seed. I don't want a fucking bye week. Bro. I don't think it's weird. For, I want to keep playing. I thought it was playing. weird for a two seed. What am I doing this week? Nothing I but mean, talking shit to people. Yeah. Being toxic. You think that's what I want in my life? No. Yes, that's who I you've want, always been. I want fantasy Nigga, football. Nigga, you're a musty ass tourist. I want fantasy football. You're that's toxic why to I, everyone I in your life. I pay money to play a fake game. And then my reward for doing good is not playing the fake game. Like that doesn't make fucking sense, bro. I like the get suspense. rid of fucking yeah, fantasy. Yeah, I like the suspense. I like yeah, bro. I like exactly. being equally uncomfortable. Yeah, exactly. Let's bro. put all our chips on the table. Exactly. I'm okay with exactly. it. Exactly. No, no, I'm okay with the bye. No, I'm nah, okay with the bye. Week. That. Let's nah. play. Nah. Play. Okay, play. So you want to lose in the first round? You play to win. You want to be that one seat that loses in the first round? You want to well, get golden stated? At least I played. Yeah, but you're gonna play in the second round anyway. Okay. So what's the difference? So then I'm going to get bounced in the second round. 
No, technically, you're going to get bounced after Good the teams week. win, right? <sighs> I think you're just getting really upset over nothing when you really need to be mad that Clipper Darrell got knocked the fuck out on tape. Yeah, was you weren't there to defend him, Pete. That was crazy. Where the yeah. fuck were you, Pete, yeah. when Clipper Darrell was getting packed out? And it looked no, like a black crazy, dude knocked bro. him out, too. That was crazy. CSC don't ever swing on nobody. They That was that a hit. about to get fucking sued, bro. That His dude, whole shit's going to get homie, fucked over, My homie bro. was like, and hey, we was like security. We, we, we would have him hemmed up at the car. You don't do that to Clipper Darrell. Like, I'm pretty sure that was a hit, and it can't be traced back to Steve Ballmer, but... When has Clipper Joe ever gotten punched out and knocked the fuck out? What's the annoying Penny Marshall got, world, knocked out, got locked out he of goes, a game. He goes to any stadium in the world is the only person ch- chanting Clippers and gets never been knocked out. out. That man, got, knocked out that man got slept and tucked. My nephew looked, didn't look that comfortable going to sleep yesterday. He got knocked out by some six-year... Uh, Los Angeles City College student. <laughs> that nigga major in kinesiology. <laughs> and ain't passed one kinesiology class yet. <laughs> Six more years. He, he, got, he got 23 more units to go. Yeah, he, he, took an, uh, he took a red shirt for his academics. Bro, he got a, <laughs> how you get a COVID year? How you get a COVID year to JUCO and you only took one class? <laughs> Where are they? Where are they doing this at? This motherfucker's still working security somewhere. All how right, you? Man. How you? He has to, dude has to get fired on the spot though, for real. Like, you can't knock out Clipper Darrell. <laughs> he thought about oh, it, man. hunched back, and knocked that man smooth out. Why you knock that old Just black man ass out, too, bro? He's not even big, bro. Like, come like, on. bro, you knocked out a five foot six dude. Like, you don't you get no not, points like, for that. You could at least knocked out Marcellus Wiley, bro. Yeah, like, I, if you're gonna I, knock I out the Clipper me. fans. Like, go for the biggest one, bro. Don't, yeah, don't go after little ass Clipper Daryl, bro. Come on, this you man know, wears the same suit every day, bro. You gonna knock out a man wearing the same suit? He wore red on, and blue in a come gang on, infested bro. area. He he in danger. Hey, come on, bro. He didn't wore purple suits. I don't know how the Grape Street niggas ain't got after him. He didn't wear every color suit. That would trigger a gang beatdown, and ain't nobody fuck with him. And you punch him out like that, I'm pretty sure the Clippers are just tired of his shit, and I think they're gonna somehow spin it because they ain't made a public statement yet. All right, go ahead, Lucas. This is bad PR. Rant. I'm just saying that's really bad PR. What are you gonna leave Pete, the people with? Pete got to go work for the Clippers now. Mac Jones, Mac Jones is gonna get Matt Patricia the fuck out of there. Uh, probably. Uh, you're walking back, Homer Simpson, me man. Or, or that's until, a poppy seed cupcake. Or until uh, this is your most well-rounded rant of the whole season. Yeah, just I so mean, you know, yeah. I you 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 finally like. You the leveled same, out. The, yeah, you leveled the, the out. I came down. You leveled out with your Patriots rage. Now you know how it feels to be a Raiders fan. Now you know how it feels to be a, a fan of every other NFL team. Now imagine oh. after twenty. Imagine after thirty straight fucking years. Yeah, yeah I really hope not. Till you're fifty-five, <laughs> the Patriots just pissed out their leg for thirty straight years. Imagine that. Mm. Tom Brady's not walking back through that door. <laughs> Kimba Walker's not walking back through that door. All right, Kenny. Isaiah Thomas ain't walking back through that door. All right, Kenny, we get it. Richard Seymour. You want to hit the rant? Yeah. I hit the rant. Um, that Tory, that Tory Lanes, Meg the Stallion situation is just a waste of fucking taxpayer dollars. Somebody got shot. Clearly, Meg was fucking um, behind Kelsey. That's the girl's name. Um, her former ex friend. That whole situation is just messy. And so, like, how do you give a chick immunity who's supposed to testify on your behalf, and then she gets on the stand and just fucks you law and order style? Like, she literally everything she said just makes Meg look like a liar. She just kept talking about Meg's character, and it's like. Yeah, this isn't a good look for you. Rock Nation's going to dump you when this is over. Um, but, yeah, don't be shooting chicks in the foot. 
And don't be blown Especially up. ones that are taller than you. Yeah. And, and thicker than you. And ladies, don't call yourself a stallion, because then we're going to think you have a dick. Because a stallion is a male horse. And I don't want to fuck a stallion. Um, so, yeah. Uh, also, apparently, Taylor Swift is going to give it one more shot with ticket sales. So, yeah. With Ticketmaster. Just, I just don't understand. Like, seriously, like, somebody needs to be arrested at Ticketmaster. Like, the dude who knocked out Clipper Dale needs to knock out some executives at Ticketmaster <laughs> and Live Nation. We need to just send that dude to knock people the fuck out. Because he thought about it and said, man, fuck this shit and did it anyway. That's the kind of resolve we need in this country right was, now. That was fucking Black Adam, bro. <laughs> That's what Black Adam should have been. Hey, man, fuck this shit. What was that? What was that first movie Will Smith was a superhero in? Hancock? Yeah, he was a Hancock. Oh, that one was, uh, that was weird. It wasn't that bad, honestly. The racial undertones were weird. Yeah, kind of. He got weird. stronger as he got close to the white woman. But uh, weaker, he, he got to the white woman. I was like, yeah, what in the pootie tang is this shit? Yeah. Like if you put if you had a film study with Pootie Tang and Hancock, the 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 quotables would be ridiculous. But bottom line is Clipper Dale didn't deserve that shit. <laughs> um that's like me punching out my uncle, man. That shit ain't fair. <laughs> You wow, know, you know what's wrong. that was too close to home for you. You know it's wrong. I'm leaving, bro. It's wrong. I'm leaving. You I'm shouldn't done. do it. I'm done, bro. What? If I, I, what? I, like whoever didn't give I us these all wrong. these jokes, these passive aggressive <laughs> jokes for four years about this shit, and then this man just casually addresses it on the air. I don't give a fuck no more. Out of it, bro. I actually agree with him. Yeah. You know what? Sometimes you gotta punch a nigga out, and it just happened to be Clipper Darrow. Sorry, Clipper Darrow. Um, you just it was just your turn that day. Um yeah, I'm sure he listens to the pod, so if he don't, he I'm gonna might. just call I'm gonna call old boy again. His name is probably Gerald or some shit. I might know that dude. I'm gonna get a close up on his name badge. I got homies who work security yeah, who work in the staple center. I'm gonna find out who the fuck that dude is. Like <laughs> I'm gonna come back to you like I got a name, guys. <laughs> oh, you want us to touch out the tangents? Hey, right, cool. Well, security will handle you. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bink, he hit that man so hard that you can tell Clipper Darrow woke up comfortable because he fell asleep <laughs> on one arm. His arm, his inner arm was the pillow. You got to watch how he, he fell. He knocked that out was, on the wrestle, Wrestle's pretzels, bro. Come on. That was snug as Not fuck. Not even a Cinnabon, bro. He woke up at a Wrestle's pretzel. He hit that man like he Be fell asleep. He, like he fell asleep at the kitty table during Thanksgiving. Like, bro, you got knocked out in the, by the worst food stand in the whole fucking concourse, bro. You got knocked out by Ritzel's pretzels. You got knocked out by, like, people who were clearly trying to leave. Like, you probably was trying to go back. Like, hey, man, I'm oh, trying to go locker room. I bet you that's what it was. Somebody probably told him something, and he was like, yeah, they said I could stay, or they said I could come down to the court. That motherfucker kick sliding in like, front of nah, him, and then him with bro. the... He kick sliding in front of He's that like, man. He's like, no, I said no. Boom. He hit that man room where Vegeta uh, hit uh, fucking Gohan because he was looking for the Dragon Balls, but Vegeta didn't know Gohan actually had the Dragon Ball the whole time. He yep. hit him with that shit. It was like, I need an adult. I am an adult. Pow. He uh, still eat fuck you, pay me. He, yeah. bow- he Bowser Mario Bros. punched that motherfucker in the face. Which actually, that movie doesn't look that bad. Bro, I don't know who got... Yeah, it really doesn't. It looks pretty solid. Yeah, it actually looks pretty good. It looks like it's going to yeah. have, like, the theme of... It looks like they song. actually thought it out and actually, like, stayed authentic to And it looks like it's going to have, like, like the, 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 the verbal, like, jabbing of Sausage Party without the huge orgy at the end. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure, like... I'm just saying, Clipper Darrow got hit so hard that wow, I think bro. Byron... I think Byron Howe woke up in the middle of the night, like... But Garrett Blunt woke up in the middle of the night and was like, why does my knuckle hurt? Wow. That's how hard wow. Clipper Darrow got hit. All Clipper right, Darrow man. got hit so hard, he deserves reparations. Like, All you got to right, give man. it to him. They actually have a uh They're trying to give reparations. The task force, now. yeah, I know, yeah. yeah. All right. That man got hit so hard, we might just have to dedicate this episode to him. Yeah, so for me, man, it's been a crazy, crazy, crazy week. Um, shoot, man, last week was crazy with the Raider game. 
that whole undertaking, you know, leaving work early, trying to get everything prepared for that. The week before, I was in Mexico for my friend's wedding, which was an experience, to say the least. You could use that security guard then, huh? Yeah, a world of a world of flats when I'm just a drumstick, man. But, yeah, anyways... Yeah, man. If you feel like you're, if you if you feel like you're a drumstick in a world of flats, man, just tweet me. I'll be certified. I know how you feel. It's all right. Like a waste of space going through the wind. Shout out to that Katy Perry song. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, man. All I gotta say is, if the new Avatar is better than Black Panther, <laughs> like that security guard should visit the people at Marvel. <laughs> like not Ryan Coogler. Don't pull him on Ryan Coogler. <laughs> Pull up on whoever, like, made him have to go greenlit his script. No, that dude, that security guard needs to pull up on Warner Bros. And knock everybody the fuck out. Because, yeah. honestly, Superman didn't deserve that. Uh, nah, Wonder he wasn't Woman a bad didn't Superman. deserve that, bro. Wonder Woman didn't deserve that. I mean, that. we don't know if Wonder, Wonder Woman 2 was terrible. Okay, but the first one was, was good. Awful. The first one was good. But it's she was same, good in the other right, movies. It's the same thing with the Black Panther 2. Like, okay. Which, is Black Panther 2 better than Black Panther 1? Hell no. It's not even in comparison, same movie. Honestly, like, they really sh- could have went further with but the, the difference is, But the difference is, one, the star of bitch. the first one isn't dead. Second of all... You should, you should have recasted them. Second of all... You should recast actors. Second of all, like, Black, like Wonder Woman was a great, like, super... super it was a great action movie. Like... And a really great superhero. Honestly, movie. the ending of Wonder Woman Black the first Panther, one was kind of let me down. Black Panther was like literally the greatest superhero movie and chill. and an all time and an all time great Whoa, movie. Oh, chill, my guy. An all time great movie. Black Twitter called him nigga cat. <laughs> wow, I've never heard that. <laughs> You're not on Black Twitter. <laughs> we we love Black Panther, but like it's not the greatest. Like in what game. super what superhero movie is better than the first Black Panther? In game, uh, that's not even fair, dude. Probably yes, the it fuck is. it is. No, no, that's no. not. Yes, that's like is. comparing the yes, NBA. Fi- that's like comparing the NBA Finals and an All Star Game, bro. No, yeah, it is. Okay, I'll I'll give you maybe some of the Spider the first Spider Man movie, Tobey Maguire. But I'm talking about like. Cinematically, you, like everything in that movie was a solid nine, bro. Except the fact that they killed off Kim Argo. That was stupid, but okay. Yeah. I honestly, mean, the plot, like, yeah, you could argue wrong. the plot, but I'm saying everything else. I'm going to argue some plot. That's every, everything else was top of the line, man. Okay. Uh, you know, Blade it, is technically it a It won movie. awards. It won awards, like, not just for a super, superhero movie or action movie. Like, it won awards, like, it was also performing. It was performative as fuck. It was, was mad it? Perform- it was mad. Black people who have no connection to Africa were fucking wearing dashikis in the lobby doing all types of praise dances. That shit was embarrassing. It was during Black History oh Month, too. Oh, my God. This was guy like, was not was like, saying this doing, when this guys, movie dropped. You guys are going we too far now. We literally did a special on this movie. Can we movie. just enjoy this, this man, movie? This man. I love the movie. I've been to seven movies with this man. He's falling asleep in every one except for That's that one. That's not true. He left the theater crying, I fell asleep crying, in bro. one movie. He, le- he you left the bastard. theater fucking crying tears of joy, I don't bro. cry, nigga. What are you talking about? I don't even have a soul half the time. Yes, you do, bro. You had a soul that day when we went to see that movie. That day? I didn't have heartburn that day. Yeah, shut up. All I'm saying is, it's not the greatest. This, mo- this is why I don't. Fuck it's not with the people, greatest bro. Marvel movie people, of all time. People be fucking Endgame, retracting shit. People in, be retracting shit. Nah, they but Endgame shit. is better than Black Panther one. It's not even a fair comparison. Endga- Endgame, Blade. Endgame is not a fair comparison because Endgame okay, had a whole I'll fucking to twenty movie okay, build fine. up. Blade. Ooh. Blade saved Marvel. Lie to my face and say it didn't. Tell me the first Blade wasn't fucking lit, and the second one. Lie to my face and tell me that. Exactly. That blade would whoop T'Challa's ass. I'm just being honest. Yeah. No fucking, there not was fucking playing around. There actually blood in that movie. Not fucking playing there around. There was actually blood in that movie. He would have yeah. said, Killmonger, you're still kind of pussy. Anyways, the that, point. 
That bla- blade, but hell, that, that, movie, that movie did not win awards, bro. That movie did not it have didn't the win same awards. production. It, say, it didn't it, have the same production. It, it didn't have the same cinematography. It didn't have the same backing. It didn't have the same music. It, it had the script the though. Everything. It had the script and the actors. And guess what? If it's not for Blade, and they still trying to remake that shit. Yeah, no, they get so a new director to fuck it up. Yeah, they are gonna fuck it up. Yeah, they got a so new there director. you go. All I'm saying is, Etern- I blame Eternals. So they introduced Blade and Eternals. So blame Eternals. I told you, that's the worst Marvel movie of all time. That is the worst movie. Uh, worse than Howard the Duck. And I've never even seen Howard the Duck. Uh, I don't know, man. Okay. Captain Marvel's kind of bad. That's, that's different yeah, reasons. That good. That's for political reasons. People say that's the worst movie. Honestly, Captain Doctor Marvel Strange, and Wonder Woman Doctor are really is, very similar. The Doctor Strange get a lot of... Get a lot of uh, no, nah, we're not gonna say Doctor Strange leeway. two was trash. We're not gonna say Doctor Strange two was trash. We're gonna say that um, a crazy and man gets a lot of passes crazy, too, bro. A crazy just cycle. People want Paul Rudd in the universe, bro. I mean, Paul Rudd is younger than us in the face, and white people don't age like shit. <laughs> in the face, that dude is is eternally young. I don't know what the fuck he was doing. All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, we Ant-Man. all want to lo- like Ant Man a lot more than we actually like Ant Man. Was pretty solid. Ant Man Two was better than fucking Thor Two. Let's not you shit on Ant Man. Well, let's not. You didn't even watch one of them. You I watched. Watch, so I've watched them all. You didn't now. watch the first. I've watched them all. Now, now you have. I never have. Yes. You missed the nuance though when we were first outside mm. talking about it. You I still it. haven't seen Loki or What If. <laughs> you have Disney Plus, don't you? Yeah. I, I refuse to give them any more of my time. I'm going to find that security guard just to punch you in the face. Anyways. <laughs> All right, man. Well, I forgot what I was saying because Kenny interrupted my fucking rant like he always does. No, you sit up here saying wait, Black no, Panther. Wait, Kenny, Kenny, why don't you bring out the security guard and Clipper, Daryl? And then this... No, but the problem is that I would need a bunch of, um, like, that's an open assault case. Like, I would need a lot of paperwork. <laughs> And we couldn't yeah, have it in Pete's apartment. Fan, so it's okay, right? I mean, that's how it works. And we have to have it, like, in a random studio. We'd have to go to, like, the other studio and do it there. Right, dude. Go, and sign waivers. Fucking... Nah, bro, go to the... Wherever they play at and then have it done over there. Because then, that's like, I don't want to get arrested over man. there. And it's like, that's just the worst it's place to be though. sometimes. Like, honestly, it's funner to be in Inglewood than it is to be near, near Staples Center now. There's too much shit in front of Staples Center. All those, like, those parking lots, they made that into, like, a huge, um, like, uh, hotel. There's just too much shit over there, and it's just not fun anymore. Like, it used to be, like, growing up. Being in Staples Center used to be fun. Now it's just a hassle being over there. What? Staples Center's a fucking hassle now, You're bro. an idiot, bro. You're an idiot. You're Staples literally Staples Center's an idiot, a hassle bro. now. You're a little... You're literally... It's not even Staples, bro. It's crypto. There's See, way... See, this fuck you need to get punched. Yeah. You fucking gentrifier. I'm never calling and, that shit And there's crypto. way... And there's way more shit over there now. There's, like, way bro, there's more shit over there. there's restaurants, a bowling alley... Okay. There's a lot more restaurants, bro. When we were growing up, there that was shit is nothing stacked there. on top of when each other. When we were other. going there, there was literally nothing. There was literally a parking lot, And that bro. was fine because you in go down the street and get some hood Chinese. In 2003, there was literally and nothing And some hood-ass there, Jordans that nobody knew were fake until they looked at you and said, oh, those are fake Jordans. By yeah, time man. you sold them. Anyways, point is. The alleyway, the alley's still lit, though. <laughs> Don't act like the alley ain't not, isn't lit. I don't know what the alley is. It's like when you get off the train right there by Staples Center and you go all the way down the street and you're in the garment I'm district. about the fashion district? Yes. It's called the fashion district. Yes, but the alley is where you yeah, get the Yeah, you see? Shoes. And this man's living in L.A. more no, than me. He's more than me. You don't know about the cut. You don't know about the alley. But That's he doesn't why. know. But he doesn't know that it's I know it's the, the fashion, fashion district, district, bro. But there's cuts called the alley, and that's where they got all the fire shit. And all right, if man. You no, know, if you know enough people there, they'll tell you. Hey, well, we're out of here. Out. Shout out to t- shout out to Lucas. Uh, shout out to Nikki at her holiday party at TDs underscore tangents on Twitter and Instagram. Shout out to security f- guards for staying ups. sturdy there. Touchdowns of tangents dot com. Shout out to your favorite podcast. Shout out to our affiliates. Have a great week. We'll be covering the LA. We'll be covering the LA Bowl tomorrow and Saturday. Peace. Peace.